Alrighty. Welcome. How is the, uh, the mic? Is it too loud, too soft? How's the background music? Hmm. Like up it a little bit. It's not like heavy background music. Well, it's because it's above me. Hello. Yes, going to be doing Manhunter soon. Can you hear the background music now? It's not like a, it's more like an ambience track. That might be background music. It's, uh, it's like, um, environmental music for us. Uh oh. <laughs> it's still doing it. I gotta figure out how to fix that later. Thought I fixed it last night, but I guess I didn't. Alright, so Background music is from Plate Mail Games. Got it right in the corner here. I have legendary lungs on two people, actually. killed the butcher, rocked him, except tried to get legendary lungs like nine times, or seven times, failed five of those. Uh, level one. This is year, going into year five now. And I stopped after that because there's a lot going on this year. Let's see, I have the settlement event, uh, hands of heat, flower knight, and manhunter. There's a lot going on this year. So to start off, I'm going to draw the settlement event, which is Clinging Mist. Ooh. That's not good. Well, if we get 8, 9, 10, that's pretty good. Because again, no resources from the butcher. Nothing. I rolled a one for the butcher. Let's see the expansions we have: Manhunter, Flower Knight, Lion Knight, Slender Man, Sunstalker, and Dragon King. Actually, would someone like to roll for Clinging Mist here? To roll in chat, hit exclamation mark, roll. Okay, you got a four. So that's not one, two, three, that's good. Uh, we don't have ammonia. So, as the mist grows thicker, its tendrils take on a strange and horrific forms. Ah, the returning survivors make it back to the settlement, trembling and exhausted. Each gains a random disorder. Hmm. Now, we have Billy with a 
this last time, not break. We got survival of the fittest. So we could re-roll, and we did get someone who got severely injured. That, that restart would be really nice. Or just even another hunt would be really nice, because settlement's not even that bad. But the main problem with this is we have no resources to innovate or anything like that. So finding another line would be really nice. So Billy is going to sacrifice his re-roll. And someone give me a re-roll here. That's a nine. All right, so could either start a completely new settlement, which, eh, or could hunt another monster. Let's see, for this settlement, we have Savannah the Fittest, except the Darkness and Graves. We got 15 population. Let's see, we have Drums, Paint, Symposium, Language, and Inner Lantern. And we're going into year five now. Yes, that's true. We start year one with no loop, so we can't innovate. Uh, we have four endeavors this year. Because everyone made it back from the butcher. Yeah, the settlement's honestly not bad. Uh, let's see. And we have an iron and a dry arcanthus in the uh, in the resource pile. Uh, so I actually I think just hunting another lion or even an antelope. Ah, we could hunt a lion. And if we get too high, we can make the rest of the line set. Because I got three out of five of that. Uh, 15 people. Everyone's healthy. Two have used the reroll, but that's fine. Uh, and two have plus one accuracy in the uh, thing. We got one person with uh, a destroyed back and a shattered jaw, but eh. Let's go up to that lion then. That doesn't have to be level two, does it? Uh, no. Okay. So we'll just put this aside for later. Yeah, we're gonna put this. I'll put it here. Because that's already done. Yep, everyone has that from Survival of the Fittest. And I need to bring Billy in here, actually, because he came back from the butcher. He just got really injured. He's not crippled because, you know, Survival of the Fittest, but he's more baseline now. I think he got, like, a gaping chest wound, and uh, he's deaf. This actually really works out. Because not innovating for a year hurts. Alright, so we got that. Put this to the side.
And that actually means we got to do a hunt. Yep, I got all the expansions, and I'll have all the new expansions when they came out because I got a uh, 777 pledge. Pretty rough fight if you don't know how to do them. I don't have all the promos, I got a bunch of promos. Uh, probably not gonna see the promos here because there's no real way to incorporate a lot of them without just going, ah, I have this. And I'll have actually, I think. It's coming in Wednesday, I'll have the Giga Lion in. So for next Sunday, I'll be running him. And I'll try to get him painted up during the week. Fortunately, can't do it first, Manhunter, because Fire Knight comes in at year five. Uh, Giga Lion is like a two point, level 2.5 Lion and a level 3.5 Lion. So slightly stronger than the level 2 Lion with uh, different um, gear. Ah, you do the special hunt that comes with it that has four pre-made survivors. And you could add it to any of your campaigns that has a Lion in it. So you just hunt it like a regular Lion. Oh, well, I got it. I got it from some guy at Gen Con. It'll be on the store in like a week or two. Don't buy it on eBay. Those prices are ridiculous. Yeah, people at Gen Con said they had piles of them still, so there's plenty. All right, so one goes there, one goes there, one goes there. Yep, same thing with the uh, Echoes 2. They'll have that on like a week or two after Gen Con or after this weekend. All right, so uh, Billy has used his reroll. Let's mark that. So we're gonna have Billy go first at the first hunt location. And we find a lion sculpture. Alright, crudely arranged effigy stands before the survivors, decorated with small metal trinkets, human fingers, and stuffed with dry tall grass. The quarry sculpture confounds the survivors. The survivors gaze at the arrangement, attempting to glean the substance of the white lion's bizarre and human intelligence. Each survivor gains one in understanding and one in sanity. Okay. Uh, that's not bad. We're kind of insane here, too. Set their survival. Um, you had zero. Ah, but you 
have nothing standing. Or I'm standing. Jeez, Billy. I have rolled feet a few times. That's not good. The one time it just killed a, uh, a settlement because we had plague like returning three years. Then we have like five people left. Then we got feet. Then everyone's dead. All right. Then we got to roll a random hunt event. That is 10. That's a two. Alrighty, so two. Uh, a corpse! Overcome by a sudden chill, their breath seizing their lungs. Survivors' teeth chatter mercilessly. All survivor, survivors lose monster level survival. Oh no. At the center of the sun frost is a perfectly preserved corpse. Uh, we don't have candlelights, we have graves. So the event revealer examines the corpse, gains one courage and one understanding. Okay. So Billy gets one courage and one understanding, and we all lose one survival. Yeah, have fun. Next one. Uh, by the way, our survivors' names are Sonny, Jimmy, Billy, and Marina. Uh, we will have Jimmy do this one. Marked territory. All right. We, do we have three understanding? No. Everyone has two understanding. Great. Another random. That is a 20 this time. Everyone has three courage, though. They got that in the butcher. Let's see, dry lands. As the survivors press forward, the air turns dry and the ground cracks. Survivors suffer heat exhaustion. Each survivor loses one survival. If they were in fur or heavy gear, they instead lose D5. And we don't have a pickaxe. So, um, Marina has heavy gear. And yes. Fur and heavy gear. So she loses two survival. Why is it gotta kill my survival? Then the next one is a random. 30. Rotten face or rotten faces. Uh, stunned faces start to give on the survivor's feet. They are bloated and smell terrible. Each survivor rolls a d10. Great. Okay, uh, let us start with Sunny. Please don't lose my boots. That's a 10. Find something gross. One random basic resource. Uh, I don't think I shot one. Yeah. The only two that's really matter for like a low level is her and Marina. Because they're the only ones with boots. Alright. 
right, so we find a broken lantern. Okay. All right, next, Jimmy. That's a six. Escape without incident. Billy. Another resource. Some hide. And Marina. Eight. Escape without incident. Hey, that wasn't bad at all. All right, then do the line. and two ribbon? Yep, two random. He goes like that. Uh, yeah. Is it here? Yes. And then start there. Uh, we will have you there. So here we're going to be. Get a scrap sword. And I'll put that next to him. And this needs to be uh, five spaces. At least five spaces. Uh, I don't really care about this, so put it over here.
Mm. Also, before I forget, I need to give them their rhythm chaser stuff. Uh, let's see. And she has a Quesotic or whatever it's called. She gets one um, strength token. These two have Rhythm Chaser. He does not have these. Alrighty. So, Lion goes first. He goes to Power Swat. Closest threat facing, uh, which is either of those two. Actually, should actually have those there because they have armor. All right, and they have evasion. So use a D four. Do evens odds. So odds her. And it is one speed. It's on a two plus. She has. One, two, evasion, plus two for the uh, tall grass. She needs a six to hit. That's an eight. It's to the head. She has no armor on the head. So she's going to use her one survival to dodge that. Because that'd be bad. Because that is two damage. That'd be a serious injury there. All right, now it's Survivor's turn. Uh, we're going to start off with Billy gathering. Billy gets a five and one basic resource. gets another hide. Right, and this goes away. Then he can move. And that's it, because he doesn't have any survival. Okay. Uh, she can't get behind him, because she's there. So let's have a go just to the side. And attack with her Katars. That is... They need a 7. She does not have accuracy. Damn. Oh, that'll be her. She could go behind. And she has Monster Claw style. We're going to use that. That's nothing, though. Uh, she has two survival left. And she has rawhide, so let's try to surge. Before we do that, let's have him go. And he can't get close, so he's going to activate the cat eye circlet. And look. Alright, so we got failure run forward, failure run forward, and failure jump away. We'll try that. So no traps, so we're safe on that. So now we're going to surge. Does she not spend it? She spends it, so she has one left. And attack. Again, two and a four again. Uh, this is not going great. Okay, so it's the lion's turn again. 
size up. Random threat in field of view. That's everywhere, so everyone but her. Uh, however, even though we'll take the brain damage, none of these people could be knocked down because they have a uh, stalwart. So, basically re-rolling one. Of course, it's a one. And that's a one again. That's a three. So, Billy turns to face Billy. And... On a four plus, he gets one brain damage. Yep. Oh, at least it wasn't anything brutal yet. Okay. Don't want to be in front, because the next three are, or next two are move, charge us, so. I'm going to go behind again. And try these uh, fist and tooth again. One hit. All right. So the ear failure jumps away from me. And let's see. I am strength two, three, and... Monster Claw gives plus one, yeah. Let's see here. Monster Claw, yeah, plus one strength and accuracy. And Savage. I gotta remember at Savage, I forgot about it last time. Let's see, Savage. Okay, first critical is a additional wound. Uh, I would have to have a separate camera for the sheet, so yeah. I only got one camera, so. Or is there something I could add? Anywho, this is plus four strength, so I need a four to wound him. And that's a six, that is a wound. see here. Billy has a bow, which is in range, yeah? Yes, range six. And he has a claw head arrow. So I think we're going to do that real quick. So I need a six to hit. That's a two. Good old Billy. Okay. From Marina with her claws. Hey, you got a three. <laughs> it's not much better. Uh, so we hit. No, none of them claws. I mean, seven. But we're going to back away. Because next turn, if the lion doesn't move, she has pounce. And then Jimmy. We go here. And he has, uh, let's see here, he has bone dagger. Gonna use to get some survival up, I think. Nah, he's got two survival. So. Go here. 
and hit with the spear. That would be safer. Uh, one hit. Alright, the scapula deltoid. Failure moves in a straight line. Let's see, this is, he's three strength, the spear's three strength, so this needs a two plus. Uh, who wants the roll? Someone give me a roll. I need a two plus here. turn again. Ooh, oh no, smart cat. Uh-huh, top 10 AI, one at a time. First two mood cards into play. Ooh, ooh. Size up, revenge, claw, grasp, and batter on new mood. Thank God. <laughs> Draw an AI, then we archive Smart Cat. Uh, revenge! Last survivor to wound, which is Jimmy. Uh, let's see here. Uh, Jimmy can't get away, he's too close. So he's got to take it. That ain't good. But he has plus two, three evasion. So the lion needs a five. Which he gets both. To the hands twice. Need to dodge one of them. Which unfortunately means he gets knocked down so his evasion token goes away. And he gets grabbed. Um, this would be away from all survivors? Yeah. And he takes another one to the leg. Dodged one of them. He got two to the hands. And it's two damage each, so not going to take both. Okay. Well, that ruins her plan. And she doesn't have any survival left. So she's just moving this turn. Uh, I guess it'd be this way. Yeah. Two, three, four, five. Mm. No, we need to move Billy. Or Jimmy. Because I know the next one is a run forward on failure. So Sunny's going to use her survival. Does she use it? She does. So she has no survival. To encourage. And he's going to use his turn. And let's, mm, do 
don't want to use the cat eye, I just attack. Let's just attack with the king's spear. There we go with it. To his elbow, failure runs forward. <laughs> yeah, there's no. I, I didn't see any mall when Smart Cat came up, so that's okay. If it is, we probably got rid of it already. So he needs. Let's see. He needs a two plus. That's a nine. Is he still in range? One, two, three. Uh, no, he's not. Um, uh, no, that's just too accuracy to reduce the speed. Uh, can't really do anything this turn, so we're just going to move him. He's going to move there. She can run up and attack, though. All right. So now she needs sevens. We got one in. To the flank. If a wound, you get priority target token. Alright, and we need a four up to wound. That's a two. <laughs> okay, the monster's turn. Size up. That's honestly not bad. So everyone's a threat. So to four to Marina. She takes one brain damage and can't be knocked down because they all have stalwart. Okay. Um, let's start off with Sunny. Actually, we're going to start off with Jimmy using the Cat Eye Circlet, because we don't know what's next. Ah, that's a trap. So the neck, the ribs, then the trap. So let's just reorganize that. And yes, okay. Now he's going to move somewhere, uh, there? No, that's about right. And we're going to move there. And we're going to attack. Come on, sixes. Nothing. God damn. All right. I can get behind it. Sixes, double one, the bow, a one hit, to the neck, you want to roll for the attack, give me that ten, that's a two. He has two strength plus three for the cat gut, so that does not wound. Yeah, it's a shame. All right, then it is the lion's turn again. Oh, there's Grasp actually. Uh, closest survivor in range. would be these two, because it doesn't specify field of view. Uh, so who's it going to be? Do evens odds. 
So evens would be her. So this needs a four to hit. That's a five. And she has no survival. So she gets one to the hands. That's fine. She has armor. But now she gets grabbed. Six. Yeah, that's what you can do. And she takes one to the waist, which still has armor. Not the worst, not the best. So it's our turn again. Um, I know there's a trap. So we're gonna have to do this slowly. We'll get with the circlet. Put that trap on the bottom. And Billy or Jimmy is gonna use his last survival to encourage. And Jimmy's basically done. He's going to go in the grass. Uh, she's going to go next. And attack with the guitar. Probably miss again. Hey, look, missed again. Yes, they are the uh, settlement of the flat earthers. Can't get into range. Uh, we got a bow here though. Maybe we could hit something. There I got one. To his femur. No negative. Still miss it with a one. This line is not going great, honestly. Okay. Oh wait, she has darts. Uh, she misses. <laughs> well, Lion's turn. Bat around. Closest threat facing. Which would be either of these two. Uh, okay, that's bad. Uh, do evens odds. Evens. Oh boy, Billy. At least its accuracy is real bad. Let's see. You have no evasion, but you have evasion token, so it needs a six up. It hits once. To the waist, which you have armor. So the arm goes away and take one brain damage. Okay. That worked out sort of well. All right. Um, there's a trap in there. So we're gonna use the circlet, I think. Or we could risk it. Because my accuracy has been off all day. Uh, you know what? I was gonna try to punch it. One hit. Great. Exactly what I needed. All right. This is strength two. Yes. So I need a six. Ah, that's a crit. All right. 
force of the blow breaks the lion's ribs, weakening it. It gets minus one toughness. Just punch him right in the ribs, Billy. And he needs to move. Get in the back grass. Then we need to use the circlet to move that trap to the bottom. And he needs to move away. Then four, five. Gonna go behind her. I hope for hits with the actual monster claw person. We got two hits. All right, the heel and the strange hand. We need the heel first because there's no negative. That's a one. The strange hand. That's a two. Well, that's a failure, so it turns around and attacks. It's just a normal attack, yeah. Yes. Uh, hits once to the leg, but she has armor. Okay, jeez, and I can't really attack, or I can, and get rid of the trap, because uh, she has armor. I think I need to get rid of that trap, because it's slowing me down. So one hit, activate the trap, she gets basic attack. hits once to the waist, which is just a light injury. All right. And hopefully that trap won't be on top again. Then it is the lion's turn. And he, ooh, revenge. Last person to wound was... Billy punching it in the ribs. Uh oh, Billy. At least he has more evasion now. So, two attacks, he needs a five. One hit. Hope, oh, uh, it's two damage? It's fine for everything. He's just gonna get, unless it's the head. Head is bad. And he does not have any survival with dodge. That's a waste. That's okay. So he is just knocked down. Now normally he would use his rhythm chaser evasion, but he has an instrument, so he's good. First off, gonna look at the circlet. We got a heel, an ear, and a gut. So those are all okay. Let's see. Let me move. Yeah. Then we wanna get him out of the way because we don't want him to get knocked down. I think we're gonna try again with this monster claw. Come on, sixes. We got two tens. So the heel first. Let's look for tens here too. That's a five. Uh, that is exactly what I needed because Monster Claw gives me one and she has two strength. Oh, and his toughness is minus one, so that is a wound, finally. Then on the ear, 
That's a four, which is a wound now that is minus one toughness. Okay, everything's looking up. All right, I'm gonna use the guitars. Get one hit because we're behind. So failure, get an attack. And she needs, let's see, three, four. She needs a three plus because of the minus one toughness on that. Go, go, gadget. Nine. And she has plus one luck. So that's a critical. So the lion vomits all over. It feels awesome. Get one random basic resource. Okay, not lion. So a mystery organ thing. And three insanity. All right, we are back in the game. Hopefully the next one is not Grasp. No, it's Power Swap. Okay, closest threat, it's not Billy. He is knocked down. So it would be him actually, because he's facing. All right, it needs, he has one evasion, two evasion, so it needs a four to hit. That's a five, so it hits. He does not have any survival. To the waist, uh, he has armor, so it, he doesn't even get knocked down, but he does get knocked back six. He's over there. That's fine. Okay. He's now out of range for everything, so until he gets up, he's gonna move one, two, three, four, five. Oh, four, there. He's gonna look with the circlet. Let's see, we got a chest, a trap, trap his back, and the glorious mane. First, we are going to with her go behind him. We got no hits. Same thing. Um, actually, going to use fist and tooth to get the extra crit range. One hit on the glorious main, so I need an eight plus to crit. I did catch the trap with her, and I went, okay. <laughs> Let's see, so eight plus, that's a six, so that is nothing. Um, Billy, you can, let's see, reduce speed by one and gain two accuracy. That will work. One still misses. All right. Yes. So next one is revenge. Uh, let's see, the last one to wound was her. And she has, let's see here, one, two evasion. Oh boy. So four up, one hit. That's not as bad, as long as it doesn't hit the head. That's the waste. Uh, 
No, that's bad. That's a severe injury on the waist. So, roll me a d10 for the waist severe injury. Survival, anyways. Uh, but she gets grabbed. And one, two, three, four, five, six. Takes one to the hands, which is fine. She has armor. Okay, I think she should stay down. Yes. Uh, he's also out of range again. So he's going to look again. Uh, let's see here, the knee, the chest, and then trap. And she's gonna go behind. Try to punch it. Ah, uh, she misses both. Yeah. Yeah, she doesn't have any accuracy. I need seven, needs a six. Okay, so the next one is power swat. Closest threat facing, no one. Closest threat field of view, which is him. Fortunately, she'll get knocked down. And now, oh, one attack. Needs a five? Yes. Got a one. Okay. We are going to, she gets up. Um, he's gonna move, because one of the things is move forward. Uh, he is going to go to here and attack. And get one hit to the knee with his king spear. So I think he needs like two. That's a crit. Minus one movement token. Okay. So we got one that is the trap, or one that not the trap. Yes. Hmm. I don't know if she wants to risk that again. She's kind of hurt. Uh, but the next one is either revenge or power swat. Uh, I think we're going to go here and use fist and tooth again just to reduce my accuracy because I only want one hit. Yes, I got a one and a ten. So on a failure, he runs forward. But my crit range is increased to eight plus. Well, that's a seven, but it's still a wound. Okay, but the next one is the trap. Uh, so he does basic action. 
closest survivor in field of view, which would be him. Ah, uh, he misses both. Ha ha! She stands up. He needs to look at the trap. Get rid of it. Or at least put it on the bottom. Uh, nah, 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 nah. That one's okay. That one's okay. It's just to run forward. Then he's going to move out of the way. She's going to go up and attack with fist and tooth. And hit once. So on a failure, he'll uh, look at me. No, he'll roar and take brain damage, which is fine because she has four insanity. And she needs a three to win, I think. Four to wound. That's a five. That is the last wound. That's a dead lion. All right. So we get to come on two white fur. That would be perfect. Because then we don't really have to fight the lion for a bit. That's a one white fur, that's another cat's eye, that's a lion's claw, ah, and that's testicles. So I got one white fur. Uh, love juice, a skull, a lantern, and mystery. Which also added to our mystery hide, hide, and lantern. So that's not a bad haul. Fortunately, we still need to find another line to get the full set, but eh. Should be able to fight a level two line now. In the early game, you don't really need broken lanterns. Fortunately, now we could innovate this year. So that will help speed things up. Hopefully could get um, ammonia, because we have a leather worker. We just don't have ammonia yet. All right, let's put the line to the side here. So we need him in a second. Uh, we go back again. Now, we do Hands of Heat. All right. So Hands of Heat. Okay, one day a clumsy, one lucky day a clumsy accident knocks the lantern free from the towering lantern hoard. Sudden flash of heat bathes the survivors as the lantern crashes to the ground. Now shattered, the lantern light dies, but the seed of an idea begins to grow. Nominate a survivor to gain one courage and experiment with lanterns. So we choose one of these people. However, they're full up on uh, fighting arts. So I think it's better to choose one of the uh, people in the settlement. Um, let's see here. Yeah, you have no courage. You have one courage. However, you are severely crippled. And you have no courage. So, I think just someone here with, uh, put that stuff there for now. So you don't need it. See, I have two people with plus one accuracy. 
think I'm going to use that one of those. Um, just that. So, could you give me a roll on the hands of heat chart? Let's see here, what happens here? Uh, agitated lantern shatters and survivors face, burning, disfiguring them. So, instead of that, we got a bunch of people with rerolls here. Reroll that. <laughs> population anyway, so yeah, just give me a reroll. That's a 10! So that's Mark. We got three with no rerolls. Okay, we're going to lose a population anyway, so might as well have someone with no reroll instead. Alright, 7 plus. Discovers the heat in the settlement celebrates. Settlement gains the lantern oven innovation. Survivor gains the red fist secret fighting art and rolls on the lantern branding table. Okay. Give me a roll for that character on the branding table. They get plus one permanent strength. Oh, ten would have been uh, blinded, but they get luck. <laughs> so that's that's probably one of the better ones. Okay, and what would you like this person's name to be? Since you've done the rolling for him. Ah, give me a name for this character.
Tyrone it is. That's his name? Yeah, Tyrone. Or Tyron? He will be replacing Billy. Because Billy's hurt. Alright. Then. Oh, yeah. Uh, we do the Manhunter. Now, Tyrone has plus one accuracy, plus two strength, and plus one evasion, and the red fist fighting style. Which means... Da, 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 da. Let's see, at the start of the, each showdown, each survivor gains a plus one strength token, and survivors may spend plus one strength tokens in place of survival. That is good. <laughs> All right, so that's Hands of Heat. And I gotta add the uh, Lantern Oven. Oh, and he also has plus one courage. So let's see here. Lantern Oven. Added. I got to add the Lantern Oven Consequences to the deck. Ooh, so this is good. Now when we depart, we get plus one survival. We didn't have anything that did that. This would be really good on the Manhunter. I would, but she already has Monster Claw style, so she's been the uh, unarmed combat. And actually, I've got to increase their ages and proficiency. So she's fist, he's spear. And she's Katars. And Tyrone actually starts with one courage. And one understanding. Yeah, she is one away from being uh, proficient in it. Or specialized in it. Okay. So, now, the Manhunter. The Hanged Man. Suddenly, the mutilated body of a fellow survivor hangs in the center of the settlement. Their life snuffed out and put on display in horrific fashion. The air becomes flushed with a dull ring, and panic and fear creep into your mind as you struggle to comprehend what just happened. So everyone's survivor survival is now zero. A tall, grim stranger stands before you, with eyes deeper and blacker than any you've seen. It's in its hand a lantern with a distorted face, emits a piercing light and deep reverberation that fills the holes in your brain. With so slow, soundless steps, the stranger advances. You call out in fright, but you cannot speak. The only sound that can be heard within the light of the bizarre lantern are those emanating from it. Outside the light, no one notices the stranger. They talk in shocked and frightened tones around the hanging corpse, unaware of the danger lurking behind them. Within this soundless, reverberating pocket of light, you bear witness to something even more frightening than the events leading up to this moment. Nominate a survivor to get the deranged expression. 
The deranged survivor stands limp, their face staring blankly at the ground, and the faces in the ground stare blankly back at him. Sensing something amiss, the grim stranger stops its approach just inches from the deranged survivor. You can't hear it, but you can feel it. A confident laughter that splits the deranged survivor's face nearly in half. You're filled with a desperate wonder as you watch them find something terrible about the deep, dark deep within themselves. Transformed by the intensity of the situation, the deranged survivor expression is forever changed. You're unsure whether to feel afraid of them or envious. The deranged survivor gains the abyssal saddest fighting heart and leads the sediment into battle. Uh, how about we give it to Tyrone? I think that would be a good fit. Seeing how he's leading us in the battle. Alright. So Tyrone. Let's see here. Abyssal Saddest. The first time you win the monster each attack, gain one survival and one sanity and you ignore the effects of fear of the dark and prey disorders. Special showdown. Uh-huh. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. And we don't repeat after any fight, even if we lose. Okay, and I already have them set up, so that's okay. Sort of set up. Yes, that can happen. Places from other Arcanthus, which I think we need to get those because that would really help the settlement right now. Uh, so, who needs to be in front? Sunny. Although, we go first, don't we? first. The app says, the survivors are taken by surprise, the manhunter goes first. Yeah. Let's see. Also, let's see. She needs to be here. She needs to take the hits. So she needs to be the closest. Survival. So everyone's reset to zero, but then we depart. Uh, she's insane, so she gets a strength token, and she gets three survival. Ah. 
Does the caps again. <laughs> um, and everyone else, I don't think anyone else has a survival. Oh, no. We got the lantern oven now. So now everyone gets one more when we depart. So everyone has one survival. Which might change things. Uh, let's see here. Armor. Okay. Uh, you have one armor there. She actually has four survival. So yeah, we definitely want her to go be the hit. All right, and let's see here. Yep, that's what we'll do. Okay. So at the beginning of the monster's turn, he moved Manhunter to three spaces towards the closest threat and face it, which is her. Then he do, does Tombstone, which, let's see here, it hit on a six plus, so we could try to uh, do that. Or, oop, get the base. Mm. She should be good, because even if it hits the head, it's just a knockdown, and she can dodge it if she needs to. So yeah, I think we'll not move away and just try to take it. Although, she does have the rawhide set, so she could just move and maybe not spend that survival. I think we're going to do that. So we're going to move. Does she spend the survival? She does not, so she is just one space away and not in front of him, so he can't tombstone her. Then he draws an AI card. Running charge. Uh, furthest threat in field of view, so everyone, which would be him. Uh, that's two damage, okay. So he goes here, goes here. He has one, two, three evasion, so this needs a five to hit. Hits once, it's two damage. Uh, let's see where it's two. If it's the waist, we'll just take it. It's the leg. That'd be heavy and knock him down, which would mean he'd lose his evasion. So I think we're gonna dodge that. Okay, and then that's all he does. Then it's our turn. Hmm. Kind of want to use cat's eye to see what comes up. Yeah, let's do that. So Achilles tendon, exposed forearm, and gun arm. So we got minus two toughness with the death blow. Uh, failure. Ooh, you get tombstoned. And gun arm is just plus two toughness, and if you wound it, it bumps into you. Ah, yeah, we'll go like that. And then he's gonna have to move. There. Okay. Now. Let's see here. We're going to use the bow first. 
and I'm actually gonna use a claw head arrow to try to reduce his evasion. That hits. It's a perfect hit. I need a not a one to a wound here. A five. That is a wound. And he has minus one evasion now. Okay. Then she, one, two, three, four, five, is going to run up and attack. I mean, everyone has this plus one strength tokens they can spend as survival, which is really good here because no one has a lot of survival, except for her. Uh, that's a one and a four. That is a miss. We're going to surge. Do I spend it? I do. Okay, try again. That is two hits this time because I'm behind them. And something else. Ah, uh, he has minus one evasion. So we're going to do uh, the gun arm. Because at worst, I just get knocked down if I. Eh. Yeah, because this one, if I. Hmm. I shouldn't fail, should I? One, two, three, four. Five, uh, so I need a three, so I shouldn't be able, I shouldn't wound, but I probably will, or I shouldn't fail, but I probably will, so let's see how it goes. That's a crit. Poke a nerve, forcing the manhunter's arm to relax for a moment. You know, you could do this again. Get plus one luck token. All right. That was really good. And then the gun arm. Plus two toughness to wound this location. So I need a five to wound. And if I wound, it just knocks me over, basically. But I crit now on an eight. That's a one. So nothing happens. Okay. Uh, she's gonna go. Four. And attack with her guitars. One hit. To the gritty boot. Uh, if you hit with a whip, gain three strength when attempting wounds. Don't have a whip. On uh, a failure, moves into my space. So I'll knock both of those guys over. That's a crit, because she has plus one crit. Unfortunately, on this critical, it attacks me back. Okay. So, just the basic action. Uh, of course, survival. Well, that doesn't matter. So, speed three. Ooh. Hits on a two plus. She has two evasions, so hits on a four plus. So, three hits. To the chest, leg, leg. Uh, she has armor on all of those, but she will get a heavy injury to the leg and be knocked down. Ooh, that basic attack is rough. Okay. So then it is his turn. So she's knocked down. Ooh, that is not good. Oh no, no, that's fine, because she needs to be a threat to be hit by Tombstone. So that's fine. So he stays there. I will chance the Tombstone again. Yeah. 
needs he needs a six. Yeah, he needs a six. That's a nine. So that's a hit to the waist. Ah, uh, do I want to risk dodging that? You know what I can do? I could surge and see what's next on the AI. So what is next on the AI with surge? Do I spend? I don't even spend that survival. Uh, let's see, we got point blank. So close threat, it would target her. Uh, full move towards, perform gun action. And if you're adjacent, it gets plus two speed and plus two damage. Oh boy. That's bad. Or precise cut. Do I need to reorganize these? Yes, I do. Uh, furthest threat, which would be one, two, three, one, two, three, four, would be him. Uh, Brandish the sword, narrows its eyes. So it's speed three, but it is only one damage each. So we're going to take that. And then he could just move out of the way with his one survival left. Okay, so we're gonna dodge the tombstone. Do I spend that? I do. That's fine. Okay. So then he does precise cut. He's the target. Uh, so he moves. What's his movement? Da, 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 da. Movement six. So he'll move. One, two, three, four, five, six. So I need to move at least here. So one, two, three, four, five. Yep, we are good. Okay. And he uses five. Okay, okay, okay. I forgot to play Sarah Campus. Uh one over here and one over here. He's going to go out to our campus real quick. Okay, that's an eight. That is getting on our campus. Excellent. Um, how much survival we got? We got one there. Uh, oh, she's up, actually. She went down on the survivor's turn last time. Um, no, he doesn't have survival. He used it. He's going to attack with a dagger. Because he has perfect eye. So he perfect hits on a 9+, plus, which means he gets survival back on a 9+. Plus. nothing and that doesn't even hit Ooh, Tyrone has a Bissell Satis forgot about which means he gets one survival when he wounds and one insanity when he wounds okay uh, she could use her survival. We need to get rid of the next one, that's right. Um, yeah, she'll use her survival to get her up. She'll run up and attack. Go, go, hit me. Let me hit you. Two hits. All right, the 
oxified knee guards and the solid shoulder. Um, ooh, no. Wait, what's her insanity? Her insanity is four. That's not good. So with solid shoulder, reflex, turn the manhunter to face the attacker. Roll a d10. If the result is greater than the attacker's insanity, they gain the prey disorder and suffer the flea brain trauma. Oxified knee guard, super dense. Failure, move through the attacker and grab. Ooh, and that means she'd get hit with that too. Oh, geez. Uh, but if I crit, which I need an eight plus right now, I can negate it. Even though it's bad, I think this is a better option to do first, because if I do fail, I don't have to deal with this. Because getting just disorder and brain trauma right away is bad. Okay. So knee guards. That's a seven. So that is not a failure. Which means I still have to do this. So eight plus, please. Whew. That's a crit. A vial of salve tumbles out of an internal pocket. You gain one red vial, strange resource. Whew! Consume it, archive to remove two bleeding tokens and gain one survival. That's not bad. Okay. Whew. All right. So she'd go next. However, she's not in range. Um. Hmm. Let's see here. Short stride. What are we doing? I think she'll stay there. I got rid of the bad one, but I don't know what the next one is. But we see what happens after that. So, it's turn. Short stride closest threat behind it, so not a threat, so that'd be him. Oh, we don't want to do that, actually. Uh, do we? Yeah, he, no, he can use his strength if he needs to to evade. That's fine. So he'll go here and try to tombstone. Although, he can just move. Nah, we'll deal with it because he has one, two, three evasion, so he needs a seven to hit. Which he misses. Great. Then the AI card. A run and gun. Closest threat, which is him again. Full move through the target, turn to face them, and do gun action with plus one speed. Hmm. Knocks him down. And gun action, so two speed. Hits on a two plus, uh, he got knocked down, so this goes away. So now he has plus two evasion, so hits on a four plus. All right. Uh, 
two hits to the head and chest. I uh, can't take the head one, so we gotta dodge it. And he suffers one brain damage, but whatever. So take away the strength token. And he takes a heavy to the chest, but that's fine. And he has eight insanity, so he's fine on that mark. Okay. We want to encourage him. Yes? Yes. Do I spend it? I do. He has one left. Uh, she can't. One, two, three, four, five. No, she doesn't dash. Uh, he's going to get up, gather that. That's a seven, which means gain one survival. Hmm. I'll take that. Token for that. And there's no moves. No, there's a traits. No, too far away. Uh, I don't think I can attack him this turn unless I dash up there. But that means risking her using her survival. We're going to see what he's got going on here. So crack shot or crack shot, great. Um, okay, that's not bad. That's just one shot. So she wants to take that. Insanity. Okay. So, his turn. Short stride moves up to her. Tombstone, maybe. Uh, one, two, three evasion. So, it's on a seven, actually. I've been doing that wrong. But that's a ten. That's a hit. Uh, to the leg. No, I need to dodge that because I could take crack shots, only two damage. This is three, so I'm going to dodge that. Do I spend it? I do not spend it. Great. Then crack shot. So, oh, it's random threat, actually, in field of view. Okay. Oh, and you do move gun action. Okay. So that doesn't even matter. All right. So everyone, actually. So four, that is her. So she gets shot, right? Yes, just shoot, turn to face it if you're not in the field of view. So it stays there and shoots. And she has two evasion. So this is a four plus to hit, which is a seven is a hit to the hands. That's fine. Got the armor there. And then everyone within four spaces suffers one brain damage. So just these two. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Nope, just her. Yep, good night. Okay. So that's gun action. That's 
That was okay. Um, going to use the circlet. Caspatai, gritty belt, and jaw. Ah, okay. Failure, move through and attack. That'll be good, I guess. All right. No trap yet. That's good. So, who's going to go first? I think her. Go around behind. And attack. That is two hits. So, do the belt first, because there's no real negative, it's only positives. That's a crit! Which means I get a crimson vial. Strange resource. All right. You may consume this and archive it to remove all bleeding tokens and any severe injury of your choice. Ooh. Ooh. Okay. Oh, and actually, that is Fist and Tooth with Monster Claw, so that's Savage. So that does another wound, because it was a crit. And before I forget, like I have been, she has Legendary Lungs. So, uh, does it do it after the attack, or? This, this can make a big difference, actually. Let's see here. Legendary lungs. Once per attack, three successful hit, roll another attack. So let me do that now just in case I get trapped. Uh, I'm behind it. I have. Let's see, there's a seven. Behind it, one. Yep, yeah, that is still a hit because he has a minus one evasion token. So no trap, so I'm good. Then, we're actually going to do this next. There's no real negative for attempting it. I'm only a positive if I actually succeeded. All right. Let's see, six is eight, ten, and I am two, four, Five, yes, that is a wound. And then this reaction is canceled. And this one, that's a crit. Manhunter stumbles. May spend two survival to uh, tackle the manhunter and knock him to the ground. Uh, I'd have to spend a strength token. And odds are there's a trap soon. So him on the ground, yeah. Maybe. Let's see how many. Oh, he's only got three wounds left. Yeah. Do this. Uh, it's still spend survival. So do I spend the survival? I spend one survival. So he's knocked down. And I already did, yes. Okay. So we can go up. Hit on a three plus. Get one hit. To the groin. Come on, wound. That's a wound. Uh, get a red vial. And unfortunately, priority target, but that's okay. Ish. Okay. And she has priority. Then we're going to do the bow from yeah, Tyrone there. For one hit, 
Uh, no. Yes? Yeah, it's just on three up. All right, to the neck. Uh, the attacker's within four spaces. That's a reflex that's canceled because he's knocked down. Which is four. Uh, he had, oh wait, yeah, he's a bunch of strength. So that is a wound also. Okay. And he already used his thing. Uh, I could surge. I got them strength tokens. We're gonna surge. Do I spend it? No. What does Red Fist do? Can I even do that? Uh, no, because it's spend in place of. So I'll actually just remove both. So attacks, three ups, two perfect hits. Doesn't help me here. Ah, there's a trap. All right. So knock back three. She's knocked there. Then gun action. I was too greedy. So just one shot though. That's a hit to the leg, which I have a armor still. And I'm doomed, so I can't spend it anyways. Okay, 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 okay. All right. Um, she can't do anything there. So, his turn, he tries to tombstone, which goes right to her, and does it. He needs a seven? No, a six. Yes. He misses. That's great. Then he has one card left, which is crack shot. So he just does gun action again. Oh, and she suffered, they both suffer brain damage, but they got insanity, so I'll do it in a second. Uh, he actually misses. Okay. Okay. skills, I think. He can run up and use his king. No, he needs to use the cat eye. I don't want to risk this. There's some bad stuff in here. So, we're going to cat's eye it. One, two, three. We got uh, first strike. Oh, wait, what? Full move the Grizzly Visage, full move the Manhunter towards the attacker, then if adjacent suffers a severe injury? Oh, what? Oh, jeez. Okay, okay. That's going last. Uh, let's see. Hunter's Hat, full move towards the attacker, turns to face it. If adjacent, there's a knee between your legs, suffer a severe injury, to the waist for the plus one. Jesus. And battle scarred arms wound if the attacker is adjacent, they may spend survival. If they don't, they suffer a severe hand injury. Jesus Christ. Uh jeez. Someone's getting hit with this. Unless I crit. Ugh. Let's see here, you crit on an eight. Uh, all right, this is what we're doing. Do not want to try for the hat? Let's try for the hat. We 
We're using mon or fist and tooth here. One strength plus one accuracy. And fist and tooth. Mm, yeah, why not? I'll pounce. It's the same as going behind it, just plus one strength. So we got two hits. So the hat and the scarred arms. Uh, we'll do the hat first, I guess. Eight plus crit. Come on. That's a two. Well then. So, severe injury to the waist. Okay. All right, with plus one to the result. That's an eight, slash back. Cannot surge to the showdown ends and one bleeding token. Huzzah! Yeah, this is the way. Okay, so I don't get the hat. That's disappointing. The scarred arms, same thing, eight plus to crit. If I fail, nothing bad though. That's a two, so nothing bad. Uh, but now we're on to the problem. But the next one's bad. Oh. Yeah, turn to you. Yeah, moving towards. All right, all right. I don't have anything range seven. Kind of want to keep him safe. Jeez. And the next one is a first strike. Ooh, he has one survival I can put it in the bottom. Spend that survival on surge. So, we got the jaw, the neck. These are way better. <laughs> okay, we can do this now. Go behind him. And attack. Oh, that is. Let's see here. One from monster, one from behind. That is still hit with a five. So two hits. Okay, we are going to do this one first because it's only plus two toughness to it. Looking for a crit because crit will kill him. That is a crit. That is two wounds, and that is a dead man hunter. With no permanent injuries. Whew. That was scary. That was three hit locations in a row that, oh, you did something to me. I, uh, I severe injure you. Have fun. All right. So we got. Kill the Manhunter. Rewards. Group realizes the settlement. Wait, aftermath. Uh, 100 XP. Prepping for seat. Great. And rewards. Group realizes settlement needs better protection. Someone does not have it already. Place settlement watch innovation top of the innovation deck. Alright, and level one. Reverberating lantern. And on a two plus, the survivor that killed the Manhunter gets tough fighting art. She does. Ah. Yeah, we'll, we'll give her tough. All right. Got a lot of stuff from him. So let's see here, reverberating lantern. Where 
here somewhere. It's under Manhunter gear, isn't it? Almost got the hat, but eh. Reverie and Lantern. Okay. That's all I guess you need. So then, what do we got next this year? We return, don't repeat any steps we did. Uh, we have the flower knight. survivors gathered around an old crone that had decided to share a secret. In her foolish youth, she had played inside a foul-smelling carved ball. Before she knew it, or before she knew what happened, the ball rolled away with her trapped inside. She tumbled in its stomach, churning darkness for what seemed like days. The ball rolled to a sudden halt. She crawled out into a hushed glade. Strange plants twisted up between her grasping fingers and bloomed in lurid colors. It came soundlessly from the trees. Thorny flowering vines burst from the ground where it, had, where it tread, and the glade was aglow with its strange light. Although she swore never to reveal their meeting with the strange knight and her dotage, she could not resist the temptation to visit the glade again. The survivors followed her into the dark. Along the way, she told them of the glade's seductive beauty and the wondrous creature that guarded it. Finally, they reached a gleaming gate that set the keen survivors' teeth on edge. At one repulse, uh, repulsing and pulling, at once repulsing and pulling at something deep in the pits of their stomachs, the crone stood before it, determined. Her old skin sagged further and her eyes filled with pain as the gates swung open. Painfully, the crone led them through the shifting forest to the glade. There, on its downy grasses, she lay down. The survivors gathered worriedly around her. With her final breath, a ghostly glowing flower burst from her papery lips, its delicate bloom fragrant with untold power. So you nominate a survivor in the settlement. That survivor grasps the ghostly blossom, gains the sleeping virus flower rare gear, and flower addiction disorder. And we can have the flower night. Okay. So. Let's see here. We're going to get it to. Pearl. She has ghostly beauty already. So, flower addiction. And the sleeping virus flower should have. She gives her a plus one crit, I believe. Okay. Now we do settlement stuff. So we have four endeavors, because no one died, thankfully. Uh, 
Okay, where is my stuff? It's over there. So our first thing we're gonna do is innovate. Watch goes on top. Okay. Let's see here. Ah, we get settlement watch. Song of the Brave. Pictographs or sculpture. Jeez. Oh boy. Watch is okay. Eh, uh, actually, half of this won't work for us because we have a uh, what you call it survival of the fittest. The only good thing about it is you get two survival when you leave on a nemesis encounter, or special showdown. Song of the Brave is really good. Mm. Picked your is okay. Sculpture is really good. Jeez. Hmm. Where are we supposed to be using them? Cat's eye. Uh, okay. Hide. Honestly, let's see here. I got Monster Claw. Could get everyone Monster Claw with the sculpture. Um, or even tough. An entire settlement of tough people. Song of the Brave. I mean, when fighting level 2 quarries, you don't really have to worry about um, overwhelming darkness. Yeah, tough isn't super great actually. Unless you get a lot of severe injuries. Which if you're getting a lot of severe injuries to make tough actually worth it, that's bad. Uh, let's see. I think right now I'm gonna go with Song of the Brave. I think that would be the best for right now. Yeah, I can get sculpture later if I need to. A song of the Brave right now would be really nice. Okay. Put that back in. Add Song of the Brave consequences. Saga. Saga would be nice to get. Unfortunately, didn't get ammonia, so I can't start crafting the leather gear. Okay. Then... Allocations. Yeah, bone grinder, bone smith. Leather workers, green catatarium. Okay, so we got three endeavors left. Um, I could craft. Let's 
see here. I don't have great cat bones, so I can't craft the helm, so I gotta craft the waist. Okay, so that's that. I could get two dried arcanthus, because I have one in the storage. What has an up connector? Um, nothing utilitarian. Nothing skinnery. Mm. A bone dagger. Mm. That makes it right. Nope, that's an upgrade. Yeah, I guess bone dagger is the only thing I can add there. Ah, I got heat now. Do I have a scrap and a bone? There. So I got a scrap. And I do have a bone. Oh, I make a skull helm. Definitely. Uh, I don't need a lion claw for anything, do I? I can make another guitar, actually. Uh, yeah, let's make another guitar. I'll just save this for later. Now we got two guitars. luck charm and you can get luck on her. So that was a productive new year. So, you're gonna be arranged, so you don't really need Arcanthus. You are right in the thick of things, so you need Arcanthus. And you don't have anything on you, so you need Arcanthus. Uh, we're gonna give, who should get the skull helm, I think, yeah. Spend the love juice. Get these out of my way. I'm 
All right, love juice. Let's try to get, uh, ooh, before I forget, let me increase the stuff. So he is now, I'm not understanding. He is now a spear proficient, or specialist. She is now a monster claw, or fist and tooth specialist. Uh, she is now a guitar specialist. And he's new. Come on, something good. Uh, that's a five. That's not bad. I think that's just one pop. Let's see here. Five. Yep, plus one pop. Excellent. Sixteen. We got three endeavors left. Um, and some more share experience. We're gonna share experience with Tyrone here and get him his first age. And I think he's gonna take the bow up as a specialist. So age for him. Two dice. That is a fourteen. That is a fighting art. get purpose. Alright. Your comrades make you strong enough to exceed the limits of death itself. During the showdown, if you would gain a lethal number of bleeding tokens while there are any other standing survivors, roll a d10. On a 6+, plus, you live but are knocked down. You will not bleed to death until you gain another bleeding token. Okay. Great. So I don't actually need to replace that one because that's a pretty good one. Um, hmm, the question is, do I want to replace uh, Tough with Rhythm Chaser? Give her a plus one evasion token at the start of the show now. Hmm. Let's see here. I 
think I should just stick with tough. She already has three evasion. I think for now, just stick with tough. So what I'm going to do with the last two endeavors then? Um, what do we got? Not everyone the same, right? No. Great. Ah, she's still insane, actually, so she doesn't need to do that. And he has pretty good fighting arts, so we're going to keep his. She can't use Rhythm Chaser. Because she has Heavy Gear. Uh, I guess we could build some people up. Yeah. You can do shared experience and uh, get someone here leveled up. I can roll yet. I just want to make the character. All right, then I think we could fight a level two lion. Yeah, should be able to. Everyone should get some survival, and we could spend the strength tokens as survival, so we should be good to go. Um, yeah, she'll have three. Uh, he'll have two. Plus strength. In. Yeah, should be good. All right. And the red vials. Uh, I should keep that for important things. Update my resource sheet. Let's see here. We got one crimson vial and two red vials. Okay, and two broken lanterns. All right, so level two lion, and we got Song of the Brave. So even if not everyone doesn't have uh, courage, we can take the brave path.
right after the war on darkness. Understanding. Um, we do that instead. Try to get uh, what you call it augury. Yeah, because we have so many hunt events at the lion, we could get ammonia possibly. We missed it last time because no one had an understanding. So we'll actually do that. Intimacy for the settlement. So two randoms. That's a seven. That is. I think just plus one poverty still. Uh, plus one pop, and they get ten survival. Eh. That's fine. And augury again. Five. Ah, she just gets plus one survival. It was worth a try. Alright. Yeah, yeah, we leveled him up. So I have seventeen population now. First, however, I'm going to get a drink. for this. Oh, let's get her survival set up. So, she gets, let's see here, one, two, three, plus the one survival from uh, that, so four. She's at max. He gets two, and he already had one. She's also insane, so she gets uh, what is it, plus one insanity. No, plus one survival and strength token. That's okay. Let's see. And he has red fist, so they all get a strength token. Chaser. Okay, he has one, and he doesn't have anything else, so he just gets one other. And she gets two. Okay. Oh, 
we got that lantern now to do sonorous rest. It should be great. Yeah. All right, so Jimmy is going to go after this. Lion in heat. Oh boy. So yelling, can't sleep. All survivors suffer one brain event damage. That's fine. I got insanity for days. Except for him, he only has one. So she was insane when she departed, so she gets plus one survival and one strength token. Great. Even though she's not insane anymore. Okay. Do Jimmy again. Marked territory. You see, if we had three understanding, we would be able to get um, ammonia. So, random out of it. Is 48. Death Wager. Woken by a traveler hidden in a deep cloak. Oh god, it's a gambler. Pulls back its hood and reveals a deformed face with two chins curving away from each other, each with its own grinning mouth. In a dreamlike state, the survivors all understand this entity is known as the Gambler, and if they speak, they will die. Until this event is completed, only the event revealer may speak. If any other player speaks, the survivor turns cold dead. Survivors must play the Gambler's game or be trapped with him forever. Each survivor rolls a d10. Oh, jeez. So if anyone rolls a one, they die. Two to nine, they're okay. Ten plus, oh, they're okay, and they can roll again if they want. Ten plus, you get one luck. So, Sunny, don't die. That's a one. She's got to use a reroll. That's a 10. That was worth it. Plus one permanent luck at the cost of her reroll. Okay, Jimmy. That's an eight, so he can roll again. However, does he want to do that? Ah! Uh, hmm. Luck doesn't really help him as much as it does her. Because now she has a native 8 plus to crit. So no, he's, he's going to stay. Tyrone! That's a 2. He's safe. We're not going to risk him. And Marina. That's a two. Ah! She already has plus one luck. So, and she hasn't used her reroll yet. If we could get two luck on her, that'd be fantastic. I would be greedy. I can do it again. Getting 
fosse. Not yet. One of these days, we're either going to get a 10 or a 1. It's a 6. That's a 1. Got to use a reroll. This is the last one. That's 3. Okay. That was worth a try. So reroll used. Plus one luck would have been worth it, especially with her plus one luck already. Okay. Marina, going for the next one. It's a random other man. Where is it? There's it. Uh, we got 34. Crippled Misery. Each survivor rolls a d10. Lowest scoring survivor, or survivors in case of ties, becomes a straggler. If any survivor or survivors has the anxiety disorder, they are the straggler. Do not roll. So. Sunny. I got a four. Jimmy. Got a four. Uh, Tyrone. Got a seven. Come on, look. Don't be a four. Got a two. So Marina is the straggler. Let's see here. Straggler is lost in a moment of profound self doubt. They slip, not having the will to catch themselves, and tumble off a steep hill of stone faces. They land awkwardly with a crunch, suffering the broken leg, severe injury. Aww. Solving themselves, they come to grips with just how terrible their life is and gain one understanding. Uh, don't have binging, so there's that. Uh, so what's broken leg give me? Broken leg. Uh, minus one movement. And uh, you know, honestly, that's not super awful because she has plus one movement from her armor. But she does get one weak token. Okay, uh, next one, we're going to have Tyrone do it. 85. Let's see here. Test of courage. Ooh. Lava flows from the eyes of a huge grimacing stone face. It's, teeth, it's gritted teeth and a worn sword. It's gritted teeth, hold on one sword. Do any survivors with six courage? There is not. Uh, no, we just move on with the feeling of inadequacy. Oh, and uh, understanding, actually. Ah, geez. Now we have understanding. But we missed it already. Ah. Uh, so she needs to do insight. Uh, at least she won't be a straggler. Oh no, she has, that's to her investigate roles. That's good actually. Insight. During the hunt, a four. Do, 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 do. Gain three survival and three insanity. Eh. Now she's a max survival, at least. OK. 
decay. Now, uh, she's going to go after it. Why not? Sea of golden grass. Fields of golden grass lay ahead. That river may choose to avoid. Plains and roll twice on the hunt event table. Eh. Otherwise, each survivor gains one courage and rolls on the table. So we could get ambushed. one during the settlement phase he can be the matchmaker and we have no problem with population at all okay and she rolls that's a nine. So choose the moon with the white line one space forward or backwards. So we'd be, we'd be here. If we move him to us, does he still ambush us? Because we're moving him? No, I think we just encounter because it specifies. Let's see here. Yeah, it would specify if he ambushes his bus or not. So it would just be a normal showdown, which is good, because we don't have to deal with overwhelming darkness. Oh wait, before, do sonorous rest. Perfect. Let's see here. Either rest or tune. Uh, each survivor can either rest. So gain two survival or gain three insanity. Well, we're going to fill everyone up on survival. Great. and the survivor corpse and the nightmare tree. Oh, I guess I have to shuffle these in. Hold up. Redo. So instead, we get a giant stone face and a dead monster. Perfect. So now we go first. And we get extra resources. So you go there. Um, like that, whatever. 
Uh, let's see. I want him to start on that. Maybe there. I'll uh, put you here. Start there. You guys will be here. Go there. Actually, there. Put you there. And we're going first. And this is level two line. deck. So he has, oh, no wait, he has plus one speed and plus one damage for everything. Also has cunning. So at the end of each of his turns, the monster extends his claws, and if anyone's next to him, he'll grab them and run away. So it's extremely important to have survival and have dash. If you don't, you don't stand a chance against this guy. He's toughness five. And he has a movement seven now. Got the strength tokens, yes. Uh, I gotta not forget about legendary lungs with those two. And I think we are good. Let's jump into hit locations. So we go first because the monster corpse. So to start off, we're going to use the cat's eye circlet.
Ой, вот за... Они в папинг практически зарегистрированы. Где-то за проблем. We got uh, where are we at? Fist and tooth specialization. Uh, uh, may stand if knocked down at the start of the monster turn or the survivor's turn. That's that's helpful. Guitars. Uh, oh, when attacking with the guitar, cancel reactions of the first selected hit location. Spear that you could just uh, negate the trap on a seven plus. Yes. Okay. So let's look. So we got the glorious mane, the femur, and the chest. Well. Mm, do the chest last, it's a failure run forward, but the other two are no negatives. And then he can move up. He could surge later if he needs to, although he's probably going to wait and use Cat's Eye again. So, start with Sunny. Uh, she has to dash. No, they should be back for more. So, dash, do I use the survival? I don't. Great. All right. Two dice. Come on, Monster Claw. Uh, uh, that is no hits. Let's see. No, that's no hits. Great. Um, next, actually, we're going to do him. He's going to use the arrow, I think. So, yep, I'm on top of here. This gives me plus two range with a uh, with the bow. So and I think accuracy. Uh, let's see here. Plus two accuracy and range. So now I need a four to hit. That's a seven. That is a hit. To the glorious main. It's impervious, but that's fine. He gets a minus one evasion token because he got hit by the claw head arrow. Let's see if I crit and get the uh, glorious main. I do not. That's fine, though. Actually, I forgot about... No, no, she missed. Never mind. I didn't forget about it. That's fine. Yep, she's gonna... Mm, yeah, she'll dash up. Use that one survival. She'll attack with the guitars. I got four attacks. With also legendary lungs. Um, I need a six. We got one hit. Which legendary lungs goes to two hits. Jeez. So the femur and the chest. Do the femur first. That is a critical. So you get a random white lion resource and minus one movement to the white lion. And it's a critical shit because she has plus one crit, uh, luck. Guitar special. I should have done this first because I could cancel that failure, but it's fine. So I get oh, the Shimmering Main, anyways. <laughs> All right. Let's see here. The chest. That's also a critical. Well. 
strike at the lion's stout heart. Gain one random resource. Roll a d10 on a result of 10. The lion dies instantly. So I get great cat bones. Um, Mr. Viewer, would you like to roll this dice to kill a lion? To roll, do exclamation mark roll. All right, I'll just roll. Come on, lucky 10. Although it didn't even use the thing. Uh, uh, yeah. That's a five. Nope. That is just a normal wound. Okay, okay. That's still really good. So. Next, the lion goes. Unless I want to surge. But I don't know what's coming up. However, I could search with him, which I'll do. So we got the belly, the paw, and the deltoid. So we put this up front. She can negate it. Okay, that'll work. All right, she will search. Four attacks in again. This is a lot of hits, actually. Oh no. That's four hits, so that's another four attacks, which give me two more hits. Oh boy. Oh, no traps, thank God. Okay. <laughs> so we got the paw, the belly, the deltoid, the strange hand, the temple, and the maw. Hmm. So, I think the paw first, because on failure, it's a basic action with plus two damage, which means it's plus three damage. So that could kill really easily. Um, the other ones are just even basic attack, basic attack. Uh, yes. So I think we'll do this. So we'll go with the paw first. Let's see, it's 10. I got one, two, five. So I need a five. That's a seven, that's a wound. All right, the belly. That's a nine, that's a critical. Jesus. So I get a lion tail and persistent injury organ trail. The white lion's intestines hang from the wound in its gut, dragging it on the floor. Start of every monster turn before it draws an AI card. Roll a d10. On a result of one, it suffers one wound. Ooh. The deltoid. That's another critical. Gains another minus one movement. The Maw, that's an eight. Uh, that is not a critical. No, actually, the guitars are deadly. That is a critical. <laughs> Jesus. All right, the blow destroys the white lion's jaw. Persistent injury, no jaw. Roll a d10 on a five plus, the lion jaw flies off its face. The attack gains one courage and one survival. Gain one courage and one survival. I feel really bad for this lion. I'm gonna get the survival back I spent. All right. Should be okay. Cause I had a dash to get there. And before I forget, he has three. Okay. Okay. All right, strange hand. That 
as a wound. And the temple. That is a failure. That's only the first one, yeah? Uh, first select, yep. So it'll just turn around and attack me. So he's, he's very weakened. Jesus. And so two, three attacks actually, because plus one speed. Uh, I have two, three, four evasion. So the uh, math. Uh, it needs like a six to hit. So one hit to the not the head, not the head. That's a hand. That's fine. Two damage to the hand. And I got the armor there. Okay. All right. Now, do I want to risk attacking here with her? Mm, yeah. Yeah, I'll, I'll, I'll weaken this line more. So surge, do I get it back? No, I don't, so I use it. Okay. Two attacks. Uh, that is two hits, and I got legendary lungs. So that's two attacks. But three hits. Ah, that's a trap. That's fine. She has armor everywhere. And get rid of the trap, so. Uh, yep. So, three attacks on me. I have a lot of evasion. One, two, three, or five. So he needs a seven. And he misses all of them. with how that went. Absolutely destroyed him. Now it is his first turn. So he Sizes up. Great. <laughs> so, random threat and field of view. So, that is everybody. So, just roll my d4. Don't be him, please. One. So, it's sunny. Great. Uh, on a four plus, one brain damage and knocked down, but I can't be knocked down by intimidate. Yep. So, two brain damage, actually. Which is fine because she has two. Probably even more insanity. And then they have to move because it's cunning. Otherwise, they get dragged away, and that's bad. Okay, so a bit more insanity. Gotta watch that. Uh, so it goes there. Uh, they get a dash away. One. Um, does she get it back? She. That's a six. I think it's on a six plus. It's six plus, yep. She doesn't even spend it. Technically, does, but still doesn't. Okay. All right. Ooh. Uh, Morgan Trail. He doesn't take a wound. Okay. Uh, also, before the lion's turn ends, I'm going to surge and look. So, kneecap, chest, and ribs. So, do that. So on our turn, he's actually going to attack first with 
his spear. And then he misses both. Good job, Jimmy. Okay. I'm gonna have her go after this. Get a six. Uh, let's see, gain one random basic resource dam. Uh, that's fine. Hopefully I won't be uh, gypped here and not get a white fur. That'd be awful. front because one of them is ooh, charge ahead forward so we're gonna move there and then attack and we get he has minus one evasion so that hits with once but legendary lungs that hits twice so the ribs and the knee we're gonna do the knee first all right that is, is it a wound? Uh, she has, uh, no, two strength, four strength. So that is not a wound. So I need six to wound. Okay, then the ribs. That is a critical. She gives a minus one toughness token. <laughs> So then the bow. We're gonna do two shots. Uh, let's see, that is plus two accuracy, and he has plus one accuracy already. So that hits twice. So the chest and the ear. All right. So on a failure, he'll jump back that way. No, that way. Yeah. So we we'll do the chest first. So it's just forward. That is a wound. In the ear, that is also a wound. All right. Uh, I could surge now. However, I don't know what's coming up. Mm. Oh, I don't know what's coming up either. So we're going to search. So does she, does she actually spend it? She does not. Two attacks, two hits, which means two more attacks, which is two more hits. Yeah. So tail, brow, heel, and paw. Uh, okay. Save the paw for last. Uh, this does nothing, so that goes first. Uh, wound. I'm going to do this next. Because unless I crit it, it's going forward. So the heal. That is a wound. The tail. Uh, of course, it's a crit. All right. So we get a lion's tail, which I already got in here, and a minus one accuracy token. That is not bad. Minus one accuracy. Let's just stack those up. Okay, 
Now for the bad ones. Um, uh, that's if I wound it though. That's if I fail it. So we'll go like that. Shouldn't fail it. Probably. Maybe. Please don't fail. Oh, uh, well, failed, of course. <laughs> so he turns and attacks with plus two damage. Uh, but he has minus one accuracy. And I have three evasion. So that means he needs a six to hit. But he hits twice. Uh, not to the head. Not to the head, please. Hand and chest. That is okay. It knocks me down, but it doesn't give me a severe injury. Because that makes it four damage. And... He has. Oh, no, what? That thing allowed me to stand up. Was it tough? No. Oh, yes, yeah, she has fist and tooth proficiency, so she could stand up at the beginning of the monster's turn. And do I want to surge with anything else? Um. I will not. So at the beginning of the monster turn, she stands up. Uh, does the monster take a wound? It does. Uh, what does the monster do? Smart cat. So uh, there are no moves. So this gets discarded. Now, unfortunately, terrifying roar would be in here. Uh, yep. Actually, it's at a break. So what I could then do is look at these with her headband. Does she spend? She doesn't even spend her survival. I'm going to put size up on top instead of terrifying roar. And he's going to size up her. So four plus, actually, yeah, it's fine. Or is it? She'd suffer a uh, brain trauma. Mm. She could also, let's see here. She could also dash and get behind them so no target can sniff. There we go, does she spend a dash? She does not. Well, she does, but she gets back. So he just sniffs. Okay. Then it is our. Oh. Gotta move there. Because if you're next to him. Okay. Now it's our turn. Uh, everyone's hit, so good on weapon proficiencies. So now it's just shit on. Uh, look at the top three. Uh, so failure basic, failure run ahead. Yeah, we'll do that. Show. She'll go up and attack. I'm only. No, I gotta use both. Do I have to use both? Yeah, you gotta use both. I'll use fist and tooth. I. That's a. So eight. Seven. He has minus one evasion, so that's a hit with a six. So the leg. That's a critical. So one random white line resource, which is a claw, and minus one movement token again to the line. Okay. Oh, she hit so. She gets another attack, which hits. 
keep forgetting legendary lens. So elbow, failure runs forward. That is a failure, so it runs forward. It could run forward minus three, four. Three, four. Okay. One, two, three, four, five. Still get behind him. Fist and tooth. That is two hits. Uh, but legendary lungs. That is two more hits. Oh, that's dangerous. Okay, we're good. Except half of these are basic attacks. Okay, okay, okay. Uh, and actually, we do that. Yes. Because I don't care if I fail that. He'll just run forward and out of my range. But if I fail those, I get basic attacked. And she's already missing armor in one location, two locations. All right, so the flank. That's a critical. Jesus Christ. So, I don't have to worry about anything now, because all those reactions are canceled. Also, Fist and Tooth is savage for the first uh, crit. That deals two wounds. So this one, that is a crit. Because my crit's 8 plus. So he gets another minus one movement, but he's dead. Jesus. Crit for days on this line. And this line had one minus one evasion, uh, four minus one movement, minus one toughness, and minus one accuracy from crits. And he had a no, no uh, jaw and an organ trail. All right. So lion's dead. We get the lantern. Hide, hide, hide. Bones, bones, testicles. Hand, thank God, white fur, and sinew. I was gonna be real mad if we didn't get one white fur. And actually, I actually needed the cat bones too, so that is good. You got everything you need from them. Okay, so let's get their hunt XP. Uh, you get two hunt XP for a level two lion. That actually brings them up to age two for most of them. Let's see, you get age two. And you get age two. No, you don't get age two. You do get one though, efficiency. I just want. I sure just want. Plus one weapon for efficiency. to year six, which means we get Slender Man and Lion Knight coming in. But first, let's see what this settlement event is. Uh, 
Oh no. I gotta get rid of fighting arts for some people because of Slender Man. No. Yes. Uh, I'll just get rid of Abyssal. Saddest. Alright, so our settlement event is Lights in the Sky. Right here, let's see here. A spectac spectacular light shower rips against the limitless darkness above. Swirling void trails streak overhead. They lift everyone's spirits. Ugh. Settlement's collective imagination is set aflame. After rolling for any endeavor, you may add one or two to the result. Then we also get once per cell and phase graves. Uh, one five gains the survival. Or six plus. If insane, you add three to every hit location when you in a lantern, get a fighting art of your choice, or add Skull Eater. Oh boy. Oh boy. <laughs> that one's dangerous. <laughs> okay. So we got that. We can do that if we want. Then, Slenderman. And Lightning. So. It's already here. There's a story about a darkness so dense and so deep that anyone who saw it was drawn into its inky depths. The story tells of a vast ocean in the depths of the darkness from which no shore is ever visible. Its murky waters teem with vegetation of a horrible sort, grasping roots, waving uh, slimy leaves with razor-sharp thorns. Swimming among the dark waters, dark water jungles is a squirming shadow of writhing tentacles. Its horror is such that they burden is but its horror is such a burden on the minds of miserable trespassers that they cannot recall what they have seen. A chilling dread without form, the terror of its approach can be felt so intensely that it cannot be committed to memory. When she emerged from the dark water pool, she was shivering desperately, trying to speak as she choked on black water. Her pleading eyes desperately searched our faces until they suddenly widened with horror as she looked out into the emptiness. Bitter black tears rolled down her deafened face. She was too late. She fell slack at our feet, her lifeless body twisting and exploding in a shower of black ichor and red gore. Where did she come from? What did she give her life to tell us? The feeling of dread that followed her into the settlement would not lift. Okay, so, Returning survivors experience a memory haze. Let's roll the d10. Five. The names of the returning survivors are forgotten. Erase them now. They are strangers. All returning survivors forget one fighting art of their choice and gain the blotted out fighting art. Okay. And add forgotten fear to the timeline three years from now. That's a fine one. That's not worth the reroll. So, three years from now. And, ah, uh, but yes, the leaves of the thing. Ah, uh, let's, let's lose time aside. Nah. Rhythm Chaser. I can always get Rhythm Chaser back. And what is it? Uh, blot it out. Oh, 
one is tough. standing, I guess. Okay, so those are the ones you don't want to lose. Or do you? Nah, last man standing doesn't really come into effect unless everyone's dead. Uninvited guest. Yeah. Okay. They work to find someone new standing at the uh, center of the settlement. Still as a statue, a lion-like creature with razor-sharp claws stood seeing everything and saying nothing. They wonder if it was even alive, but the bodily boldly curious reported within the Electrifying gaze in its eyes. What is this creature? Why is it still here? Or why is it here? So we deliberate and roll. And we add stoic statue to the settlement. What does that do? Let's see here. Stoic statue. Uh, we can worship the monster. So you may not depart if you do. You could get one for standing, that's nice. Uh, or gain survival. Okay, that's not bad at all. So you add that. Then we deliberate. So let's see. And so we gotta nominate. Let's see here. Uh, so we don't want to do these guys. Hmm. Yeah, not the main group. So we'll just do four randos, see what happens. So, a four. Tim Lee place offerings at the Lion Knight's feet, but it just stares and stares. Each nominated survivor gains a random disorder. Good thing didn't pick these guys. So, we're gonna actually do Felicia, the crippled, destroyed back, shattered jaw person. And I think we have three survivors with no reroll, like basic survivors. Let's do them. Yeah, three with no reroll. They're the sacrificial people. So Felicia, gets hyperactive. Okay, she must move one space every round. If she ever goes into a showdown, which she probably won't. Okay. 
another rando gets do monster panic. Ooh. Whenever you suffer brain damage from an intimidate action, suffer one additional brain damage. Okay. Next one. Order during the hunter showdown, you put on a brave face until you return to the settlement, vowing to never leave the lantern fort again. Okay. Oh, if you gain it during the hunter showdown. So it does nothing here. Location cannot depart if you have, unless you have armor at that location. Ah, the chest. Okay. Don't use them unless it's absolutely necessary. Ah, uh, then just do normal. Ah, uh, what you call it? Normal summit stuff, which we got a lot of stuff to do. And he comes back in three years also. So we'll have two special showdowns that year. So we have to pick from face painting, which we do that, shrine, nightmare training, or hovel. God damn, where is ammonia? Uh, <laughs> now let's see here. Hovel's good. Hovel's real good. Nightmare training is okay. Then gain quantum strength. Ugh, spend one spot with a guy. Um, face pain. That's pretty good for family's eye. However, I think hovel would help because we get plus one survival limit and we get plus one survival when we depart. Plus it unlocks the hovel uh, consequences. 
really, really need uh, ammonia, though. All right, so unlock some bed and family. Family's going to be a good one. So we got hall. So our smaller one goes up to five. Okay, so we got three endeavors. Yeah. Oh, yeah. And we have Tinker. No, she has Explorer. Okay. Let's see here. Anything to give courage? I need something to give courage. Mm. Nope, nope. This is game of fighting art. Uh, but we can roll one or two the result after rolling for an endeavor. So let us where are we at? Use that love juice to roll intimacy. So a four, which can make a six. Intimacy, four is just plus one, six is also just plus one, so I don't need to. So that's just plus one, um, peoples. All right, then make the helm for the cat, and we can make the uh, shimmering main thing. bunch of resources to use. So, get the cat stuff out of the way, get the lion helm, and I think it's a skin cloak. Can I tear it out? No, let's get the lion headdress. Plus one armor accessory. And I don't think we need anything else from the lion. Let's see here. Um, no. We don't really need anything else. So good on lion stuff. So what do we have? We get you can make a monster tooth necklace. Who would use it though? Uh, I, I can use it on her, but she'd remove her thing, so that's not worth it at all. Uh, she needs to remove something. Get the helm. Which has to be this. She needs another up. Uh, nothing has up red. Ah, uh, that's not super great. So we'll just take this off and give it to him. Okay. So we got Cantarium, Skinnery. We got the leather worker. We don't have the things to make leather, though. Right, right the organ grinder. So we make the storm stone circle. But can we do anything with it? Uh, we need pelts, so no. Although we can make blue, we can make charms. Uh, does anyone have? I think we need four. No, not yet. We'll want to make that. So, three organs. Do I have three organs? I have one organ. 
and also my resources. I don't think there's any organs. Now I got two broken lanterns, an iron, and the crimson battle stuff. So I can't make a stone circle yet. Let's see here. Um, weapon crafter, eh? We can make that. Where's weapon crafter? Sneaker. Weapon crafter. Okay. Ooh, we could do scavenge. Ooh, get courage. We need this. <laughs> so weapon crafter. Let's see here. We need weapon crafter. Three bone and a hide. That's how we get our courage. Oh no. We only have two bone. Well, looks like we're saving stuff. Uh we could get another rawhide set, but I don't think we need it. Um, so I think we'll just hunt the uh, screaming antelope next. And even level two, we don't really need a full set of armor for him. He's not super difficult. Uh, If we save it, we'll definitely have enough for leather armor. Because this is five hide here. So I think save our resources and use them next year. Okay, then we have three endeavors. And let's see here. Um, so graves. How's that one survival? We don't really need the plus one survival. Oh, plus three armor. We don't really need it versus the antelope. It's pretty easy. Uh, this would be nice. However, getting a skull eater to the settlement next year is bad. So, uh, let's give this to him. So he has one armor on the head. At least. Let's see here. We have very understanding with the people, so we don't need to do that. We just do augury. Uh, or, let's see here. Worship. Drums. Get some insanity. Although lots of insanity is bad. Gotta be careful. Although we need some versus him. So yeah, let's get some drum stuff. Okay, so drums. Uh, who has two fire guards? He does. So we're going to get him Rhythm Chaser again. Uh, don't need to roll anything. He just gets it. So Rhythm Chaser. Um... She has no insanity now. Can get two there. Or I can get none there. So let's give her two and let's give him two insanity. Yeah. Unfortunately, she won't be insane when she departs. So she won't get that extra plus one strength, but that's fine. Need a little bit versus uh, the antelope. Can 
she has the lion set, so that means something. Let's see, plus one all hit locations and gaining one speed and two strength when attacking with daggers or katars. Ooh. Speed thing actually is not super great with her because of legendary lungs. So she's attacking five times in a turn. If she hits all of them, she attacks five more times. But we'll see. <laughs> At least she has three armor all locations now. Ages, age, like an age two. Before I forget. So, Sunny. We get do do that's a thirteen. One permanent strength. Statue. During the hunt and settlement phase, whenever you roll on a table, you may add one to the result. You may not exceed the highest possible result of that table. That is an amazing one. This includes hunt events, story events, endeavors, settlement events, etc. So that means if I fight, find the gambler again, she could just keep rolling and never die. Okay. There's my stuff. There's my stuff. Put that over here. Let's mark my. Resources to keep. Uh, these are spent.
Sinew, the Lion Claw, Cat Bone, Lion Tail, Curious Hand. Hide and a broken lantern. Uh, everyone gets max survival basically. Everyone's at least two. Wait, actually, no, because we have a limit of five now. So you're at three, you get one, two, so you're at five. So you get a bunch. So he starts a square after, well, two squares after overwhelming darkness. Okay, so the first one, um, let's go Marina, you got otherworldly luck. Uh, grazing field, acanthus leaves sprout from the crevices in stone ground, survivors spend time gathering and eating the small leaves. Uh, each survivor may heal one hit location of their choice, is already, uh, it's a random hunt event, does nothing for us. That's just bad luck. You're supposed to have otherworldly luck. So 
So 48. That's a gambler again. <laughs> okay, okay, he got otherworldly luck then. Although, if she rolls a one at first, she's dead. Let's not do that. I'd like to save our monster claw fighting style. So her, that's a seven, she's not rolling again. Him, that's a three, not rolling again. Him, that's a nine, not rolling again. You, you just get one luck. No matter how many times it takes, because you had plus one. And you only die on a one? Yeah, you only die on a one. So she just gets one luck. Well then, that was fortuitous. She also has plus two to investigation. This is 11. Ooh, that's a big one. Monster droppings. Okay, so I was finding some monster droppings like those in their quarry. Prevent Romeo to choose to either investigate or consume droppings. If the investigator uh, chooses to investigate, gain one understanding, and roll a d10. If the reveal consumes, gain one courage, and roll 1d10. I would try consume, however, 1 to 3 gives 10 insanity. No, that's only if you have quite a bit. Uh, let's see, minus 1 permanent evasion. No, I'm not doing that. Uh, she can become the scat man or gain 1 speed and 1 strength. Uh, could choose to investigate, could skip the next space. Jeez. Uh, let's see. One understanding that would bring her up to. She already has that. Uh, and she has well, otherworldly luck, so she had plus one, so a minimum getting to four. So, so at least getting plus one survival and one understanding. And if I consume, I minimum get a two. Give me minus one permanent evasion. But on a seven plus or a six plus, you get plus one speed and strength. No, she doesn't need speed. She gets too much speed, she's worthless. Since she just triggers traps all day. If she had, say, like a, um, whatchamacallit, a, uh, a grand weapon, it'd be great. But not with double guitars. Okay. So we're going to investigate. So that is four. That is seven. If I want to. Seven plus. Uh, you can skip the next hunt space. Uh, or gain one survival. What's the survival at? It is four. The question is, do I want to skip that hunt space? Because some of his stuff is bad. Yeah, let's skip. So we'll go to another random. What, what, what did I miss? Migration. Move the animal three spaces back. Yeah, that would have been bad. All right. So random again. 64. Stone fountain. Two cup stone hands rise out of the ground. The hands hold clear cold water that trickles through the stone fingers 
and seemingly endless supply. Any survivor may consume the gain one courage and roll a d10. No one consumes, roll again on the thing. Uh, so one of four get hemophobia. That's eight refreshing. And nine is uh, plus one survival. Jeez. Hemophobia, eh? Could risk it on her, because she gets plus one from overworldly luck. Yeah. Only, only if she's going to, because she's the only one who actually needs survival. Ah, oh, that's a two. She gets hemophobia or something. Let's see here. Water is clear until it enters the ellipse where it suddenly turns to blood. You spit out the foul liquid and suffer muscle level brain event damage. That's actually okay, because she has like nine insanity. Oh no, if she has hemophobia. Okay, that's not bad at all. That is nothing. And I'll, I gotta keep rolling on these damn things. I want courage also. Okay. That's not bad at all. All right, the next one, another random. Gonna continue the same way. 92. Failed start. Survivors find the tattered remains of four humans clad in loincloths clutching stone shards. Bear distinct marks of lion claws. Each survivor suffers one brain event damage and gains one founding stone starting gear. Ah, uh, survivors with 3 plus understanding also gain 1d10 insanity. Jeez, that is. I think everyone. If you have three, you have. No, you don't. That's good. You don't also. So just these two. Although that is bad, because they have a lot of insanity. So you get seven, and you get eight. Jesus. So you're at 14. And you are at 14. Oh, where we have some founding stones. Read a founding stone, add two. Read a band. Okay, then we hit overwhelming darkness. I'll go to Path of the Brave. Let's see, where are you at? Station Overwhelming Darkness. So, uh, yeah, Path of the uh, Path of the Brave is the better one. It's the least screwed up. So sunny. Eight. Seven nine. Lantern held high, you cut a path through the team of darkness, suffer one event damage to your arms. Okay. Uh Jimmy. Nine, same thing. One the arm. Tyrone, one of the arms, and Marina, one of the arms. Actually, I can make Marina's 10 if I want. What's 10 do? Uh, you gain the leader fighting art. No, I'd have to get rid of one of the good ones. I could get rid of Blotted Out technically, but might as well keep it. Leader's not super, especially when I have, um, what you call it? Path, path of Brave thing. So, just one of the arms.
Okay. And then the next space. Uh, that is a one of these. Marina, get it. A uh, vomit pile. Ooh. Each survivor may scavenge. They gain one courage and roll on the table. Um. Uh huh. He would get bold, which I technically don't really want because I need. S nah. That's fine. All right. Archival consumable gear. He doesn't. No, he does have some. Yeah, we'll do this. So, let's try Marina first. And scavenge, not investigate. So that's a 10. So I gain one understanding and one random antelope resource. So, Antelope, what did you throw up? A shank bone. That's weird. Alright, we'll do him. A six. Uh, get one survival. Yeah. Alright, he gets one courage. She gets one understanding also. He's almost all encouraged up. So he gets bold, I'll resolve that in a second, which means he gets prepared. Uh, let's see here. He will investigate. Eight. He just gets one survival, does nothing. Uh, she. Do you have any consumable here? I do, rather than monster grease. I don't want to risk it. Yeah, whatever. That's a four. Ah, our car all consumable will buy monster grease. All right. And then I'm going to use Sonorous Rest, which means they either get two survival or two insanity. Um, those two are going to get two insanity. She's going to get survival, he's going to get survival. Because they can't use any more insanity. They can use some. So we get three Arcanthus plants, terrain, cards. Uh, a bug spot, and two random. We start on the edge here.
So we get, ooh, the dead monster again, and three storm columns. So we will go first. Excellent. And yeah, if I have 20 insanity, you'll die after this fight. Put that there. Stone columns. Just put them in the corner. No one cares about them. set up his AI deck. one speed and plus one damage. Okay. And he also needs Diabolical and Trample. Trample, if he uh, collides with you instead of just getting knocked down, he also deals damage to you. And Diabolical at the start, at the end of his turn, he'll trample, like in the areas diagonally or adjacent to him, if someone's there. So this is also another one where dash is extremely important.
this is a good chance to get some more canvas for the settlement. start on either edge actually but might as well do this edge okay and start out we're gonna look at the AI card location so he's got a back kick or slam so in blind spot or closest threat his movement is eight uh, but it's two attacks it's on a three plus uh, so I'm going to deal with either of these, no matter what. Okay, then she's going to move up. And move there. She's going to move five. Um, she is going to dash and move to here and gather that. A nine, that's a fresh Arcanthus. Bam. And she loses about. That's fine, I got plenty. He's going to look at the hidden location, so tail, mouth, or flank. Uh, don't want to do that with fist and tooth, because I dismember my arm. So I'm going to go there, like that. He's going to move, he's going to move up. Okay, and she is going to dash. Yes. Does she spend it? She doesn't. Uh, yes, that'll work. She'll be closest, right? Uh, no, not that one. Yep, closest threat. No, because I'm going to throw that dart. As a surge, do I spend it? Yes, I do. Just one attack. So I hit on a seven. That's a hit. So it's a ranged weapon. I don't care about the giant mouth. So just to wound. Uh, your toughness 10. I have three, four strength plus three, so seven, I need a three plus. That's a one. Okay, but at least that's gone. Okay, and then he does this. So, closest knockdown. This isn't in the Passable, is it? No. He just goes up and attacks. Yep. Two attacks. That's two hits. Two knee, hand, and leg. Oh! Ah. Don't want to dodge anything. That's two damage. I'll dodge the hand because I have one armor there. I'll take it to the leg. And do I spend that spell? I do not. I 
Okay. Then he would do diabolical. However, uh, target random server in the trample zone. Either way, he's just going to move forward because I'm a dash. And he's a go. How far does he go? Eight. Seven. Do I spend that dash? I do. Ooh, no. A survival. Okay. Alrighty. Uh, so Sam's gone. Let's see here. He's going to go up and gather that. Nine, that's another fresh Arcanthus. There it is, go. That's not the right. Okay. my monster claw stuff and hit him once but also legendary lungs hit him twice okay so for a tail no negative that is not a wound right maybe uh, let's see here and three four five No. Nope. Not a wound. All right. So then, the flank. That's also not a wound. Reflexes. He turns to face me. Ah. What are you gonna do? Uh, he's gonna go up and gather. Seven. Gain one resource from a monster resource deck of my choice. Okay, I will choose this and get a beast steak. All right, and she, you know, it's just gonna come this way probably. Oh, yeah. Hmm. He will surge and I'll look. Top three. Okay, no trap, so that's good. So do that. Actually, what has the best crit location here? Because I do want to get rid of that card. Not a moment. Oh. Ooh, that one just makes it get, take a wound every time it moves. Yeah, let's, let's crit that real quick. And he's going to surge and throw his rock, which crits, which, uh, let's see here. Oh, I'll discard the card at the end of the next round. That's fine. So, Restless Inner Thigh. Takes one, gets rid of that card. Then, get rid of this. Surge with her and attack. Uh, do I spend it? No, I don't. Uh, hit once. Legendary lungs. Hit twice. Okay. Uh, I'll do this one first. No negative. Restless muzzle. That is a seven. Uh, that is a wound. It's not a crit, right? We have one luck, two luck. Now I need an eight to crit with her. So that's just a wound. And then the shoulder. 
that is not a wound, so nothing happens. Okay, his turn. Buck, ooh, it's a mood. Let's see, at the start of each monster turn, target and attack any survivors in the blind spot. Okay. Then it does the run forward thing. She's gonna dash. Does she spend? She does. And it runs forward. It takes another wound because of this. And then at the end of the next round. So it's next turn it goes away. And it runs forward. Eight. So it runs there. Okay. We are going to, let's try to get rid of that. Nah, no, I'll just stay out of its blind spot. Because I also, mm, let's look at these. So restless eye, hoof, and chest. Uh -huh. So this one is attacking with a melee weapon. This one's first strike. Okay. This one's a uh, facing attack. Okay. That'll work. So. Oh, yeah, she's my survival. Quickly losing my survival. So we're going to attack with the bow. Two attacks, and he needs a six. Or actually, I could shoot the arrow, give him a minus one evasion. Yeah, let's do that. That's a four, so I miss. Well, that's one arrow gone. Um, then we'll attack with the bone darts, because the next, next hit location is uh, if you attack with a melee weapon. So bone darts, that's a miss. Uh, she'll surge, do I get, spend it? I don't, and attack again. That's still a miss, okay, yeah. Well, uh, let's see, I can crit it and get rid of it. Uh, yeah, cause then she can't attack at all. So we will. Well, I guess put it last, but she's insane. And she has a ton of attacks. So yeah, we'll just throw a phantom stone with the surge and crit it out of the way. So the restless hoof. Oh, it's a permanent. That's good. So get one resource. Get a bladder somehow. And persistent injury. And this will go away soon. Okay. And one wound. Okay. Then since that's out of the way, we'll attack with her. Her super guitars. Oh boy. So she has five attacks. Hitting on sevens though. And of course I get four hits. And then she has legendary lungs. So I get four more attacks. Which I hit three more times. So seven hits, of course. Seven, no trap, and she is insane, unfortunately. So this goes first. Uh, cancel all. Uh, cancel all hits and end their attack. I just wanted to get that out of the way, not waste all those hit locations. Okay. Then the monster's turn. 
is going to stop and snort. Random survivor range, that's everyone. Uh, where's my d4? There it is. Uh, and intimidate, so that's okay. So one, so it'd be sunny. The antelope begins to stomp and snort excitedly and gurgle moan sounds from its undermouth. Turn to face the target on a four plus, suffers one brain damage per monster level is knocked down. And if they're insane, they get knocked back five. So four plus, that's a one, that's a no. Okay, then he does his uh, diabolical, which is going that way, she'll just move. Okay, let's see here. We gotta look, his trap is close. So giant teeth, restless back, and rump. Uh, he's too far away for the bow. He's too far away for her. because he has a spear. He's going to surge and attack. And hopefully hit. He hits once. That's okay. So super dense. Don't care. It's a spear. That's a crit. And one resource. So I get a screaming brain. Oh, it took a wound, actually. And this went away. Throw some darts and miss. Okay, he's gonna move up over there, and he's gonna dash and shoot that bow and miss. Jesus. see here how many survival you got two um yeah it's a turn bolt quest is knockdown survivor no furthest threat i think that's her uh, four two three four no it's either one so evens odds odds her let's see here move and tech This, then he attacks twice, hitting once to the hands. Uh, now I'll dodge it. Did she spend it? She does not. Then he full moves away from all attackers, so that way. And then he does diabolic again. There's no one in the line, so he just full moves forward again. Okay, our turn. Uh, can't get in range, so we're gonna look. So back, rump, and ear. Uh, those are three, basically. Th these are all three, because this one's just run forward, and he's already at the edge, so he can't run away. I don't want to go in the blind spot though. At the start of each of his turns. No. So I'll go next to him. And attack. Uh, one hit. No? No. I need a seven. So that's no hits. Uh, spend the survival. Do I get it back? 
Yes, you do. Attack again. One hit. But legendary lungs. Just one hit. All right. So the back. That's a one. Well. Uh, she can't get in range, so we'll just go there. Uh, let's see. I'll just move up. There. Move there. Okay. And crush and devour. Closest threat in field of view and range, or closest survivor, so it's going to attack her. Ooh, if it hits, it gobbled up. Hmm. Hmm. Ah. Uh. Let's see here. So, how much evasion she got? Ah, uh, she lost her thing. So she has two evasion. And this is three attacks. So that's three hits, so I can't dodge it. And I can't move out of its way fast enough. So she is gobbled up. Okay. And we gave this. Then crush the devour. Oh no. Let's see here. And she's already used her reroll. All right. So crush and devour. Roll on this here chart. That's a nine. With a burst of ferocity, you fight back. Roll a d10 on the table below. Ten. Pause on a ten. All right, you were suddenly bitten by a pulsing organ. You tear it free. The monster suffers one rune, gain the second heart strange resource, and regurgitate. Suffer one damage to the uh, arms location. All right, regurgitate. An eight. Gain one understanding. Okay. That wasn't bad at all. So, where is this heart? Where is this heart? Put it back. Okay. Get. Let's see. Yeah. One arm damage. That just eats up the armor. Gain one understanding, which means she gets analyze. Ooh. And insight during the hunt phase or showdown phase. Okay. Permanent accuracy. Excellent. Okay, okay, okay. Uh, then he does diabolical, uh, which before he does that, I don't want to move, so he just runs forward. Yes. So I'm going to spend one and move. Over here. So we just move forward. Uh, do I get that survival back? I do. All right. Our turn. Let's see here. Uh, so analyze. I could just look at the top AR card and return it whenever. Uh, gore. Hmm. Okay. 
Oh, that's not bad. This is just a different one. There's one where he gets plus one damage or something, or speed, something like that, for every space he moves. So that's not bad at all. Uh, but we'll probably have the trap here, so we're gonna use the cat's eye. No, no trap still. Uh, those are all free. Okay. Still don't want to go behind him because of uh, Buck. He's going to move here, his movement. So, six. yes, we're going to use the arrow. And sixes, got one hit. To the ear. That's a crit. No, it's persistent. Uh, monster is dazed. If it will draw an AI card, roll a D10 on a A+, plus, it's confused and just runs forward. Okay. All right. That is good. Let's see here. I'm going to move over here. Try to get him to keep running in that corner. And attack with our monster claw, which misses both again. Jesus. Uh, surge. Do I spend it? I do not. And two hits this time. Ah, oh, but. Oh no. Legendary lungs. No more hits. Okay, good. Alright. So, throat and rump. Uh, if I. Any, if I don't crit, I'll just run forward, which it's at the edge, so. Throat. That is a wound. Rump. That is not a wound, so it just runs forward. That's fine. Oh, we're going to get the trap here. Which makes me not want to attack. Um... I forget what the trap does. I think it's either everyone adjacent to it at the time gets a disorder or just those hit by him. Let's see here. Let's surge again for him. Yep, trap's at the very bottom. So, panics, uh -huh. attacker's doomed, all survivors adjacent to the monster. So we don't want to do that. And he will just full move in a straight line. I don't know if you're adjacent, you just get knocked back five and two brain damage. Which honestly, she could lose some brain damage, that's fine. And anyone co hit by a collision gets a disorder. Okay. Yeah, that is okay. But that does mean she cannot attack him. Because she doesn't have any ranged weapons. Uh, so I gotta wait till next turn to get rid of it. Okay. And what's the next one here? Ooh, the Lone Rampage. Oh no. Oh no. Uh, <laughs> let's see here. We gotta get away. And let's see, that is four spaces of it. Suffer so one damage to every hit location. No, no, one damage per monster level. And knockback seven. Yeah, we need to get away. So I don't think she can. No, we can. Okay. But she needs the dash now. So. Four, five. And does she spend it? She does. She has one left. That's acceptable. Alright, um, they need the dash out. Actually, four and five. She'll go there. That's four, yeah, it won't get hit by a war. And He 
and go there. That'll work. Because then he'll just turn around and go that way. Okay, so it's turn. Lone Rampage. Unleashes an awful whale, the signal that's terrifying rampage. All non death survivors suffer one brain damage. Then anyone within four spaces around it, let's see, all standing survivors suffer one damage per monster level, bash and knockback seven. But no one's in its spot, right? Right. So we are good. Ooh, you know what? I actually forgot. I forgot the uh, persistent injury. It actually doesn't draw that. Ignore that. <laughs> it just runs forward. Then it turns around with Diabolical and runs this way. She needs to dash. So we need to activate trap, which means we're going to use the bow. And you get at least one hit, so trap activates. Wait a minute. Oh no, I forgot to put the trap on top. <laughs> That's fine. It's a giant tongue. Uh, there's probably one still. So that is two, three, six, four. Yep, that's a and minus two toughness, so that's a wound. And the shank. That is definitely a wound. Uh, no one's in the blind spot, so the reaction doesn't go off. Now the last one is the trap. And I think I might waste a turn here. Yes. Uh, she can throw a dart, technically. Yeah. She's throwing a dart. And she has plus one accuracy now, so she hits and the trap. No one's next to him, so he just full moves forward. Okay. All right. Uh, what is this? Chow down. We'll move to the closest, which would be here. Uh, that's fine. Although, yeah, he still has one survival. Spear hit in so you get proficiency. Okay. So he moves up uh, again. Uh, we'll actually move. Okay, so and now we're gonna stay there. So he goes here, but then he'll run forward for diabolical. Eh. So I run over 
over here. So actually, uh, next turn, because Chowron goes back on top. Yeah, he could get to that plant. And he'll heal. Uh, so. So we'll go up to here. Uh, six, I think that's just a survival. Yep, I uh, gain one survival. Which is good. She needs that. Let's see here. He only has one survival, so he can't dash. Well, he can, but it's not a great idea. So he'll go here, and then he'll look at the top three, which those are sort of free. This is jump back, yeah. No giant mouth, so that's good. She has one survival also. No, she has no survival. He'll try to get rid of that mood. On a six plus. Nope. He has plenty of survival. Okay, so the antelope's turn. It does graze. Let's see here. So. I could dash and gather real quick. Yeah, let's try it. So she's going to dash. No, she can't do it. She would have to. Uh, no, he would have to, but then he can't surge. Damn. Yeah, he's just going to heal. So... He goes up and eats it. Then let's see here. He heals 1d5. Uh, he heals five wounds. forward and this goes back on top. That's too late because I keep forgetting about the don't roll a thing. Yeah. Too late. Eight. Okay. Uh, so chat on top. Next is not a trap, so we just wail on him. Monster Claw, one hit, legendary lungs, just one hit. So to the inter knee, that is nothing. I could spear, let's, let's spear. I got one hit. <laughs> Rest the shoulder. That is a six, which is definitely a wound. And it clips the shoulder, jumps back, so it turns to face me and goes one away. Uh, I could bow now. One hit. Uh, I could move four. Yeah. That's a wound. So he moves forward in a straight line. She has to dash. She spends it. Ah, the 
the problem is she can't go up and attack because she can't get away. She has no survival. So she's going to go after the Aerocanthus. That's a seven. That is a survival. Now she can do something again. Okay. All right. The monster's turn. Great kick. Random survivor in the blind spot. No one there. Furthest threat in range. So no, it's him. Mm. Oh jeez, that's a lot of attacks. Oh no, we have uh, we have a destroyed hook, permanent injury. Its limb gives out and is knocked down. Ha ha! Excellent. I didn't forget that time. I forgot the other one. <laughs> Make sure it doesn't actually go off. Yeah. Uh, no, actually, it just moved forward. Sorry, me. And then it moves forward again because no one is, is in its thing. This is fine. We'll gather again. Uh, five. Get one survival. Great. And now we can actually set up. Because we don't attack, he'll get knocked down, and then we could go all in um so long as we don't get near him. So you moved. You go there, you go there, you go there, and look. Nothing awful. Giant Maw. Mm -mm. So we want the bow to hit that. Okay, it's turn. Does it just run forward like an idiot? It does not, so it does this thing, it's knocked down. Great. Okay. You can move up. Use the bow first. We get one hit. That's what I wanted. Because even if I fail, I'm not next to him, so I'm good. I don't fail, so that's a wound. Okay. Then go up next to him and attack with monster claw. One hit, legendary lungs. One hit. Yes back. That is a wound. I got one. I could surge, but that's super dangerous. Five. I'll go there and attack with the spear. And we get two hits. The rump. Ah, and the trap. However, he has spear specialization. So on a seven plus, nope. So then two brain damage and knock down and no, knock back up and knock down. That is fine. But she has 13 insanity. Then he just moves forward. Okay. No, not her. Her. Actually, that one's not as great. Red hair. She only has four. Oh, two brain damage per monster level. So she's at zero now. Still not awful. All right. All right. All right. All right. One survival, so you have the surge, which no. Let's see, she has monster claw, so she could stand up at the beginning of the monster's turn. 
Does the monster run forward like an idiot? It does not. Gore. Full moving directions facing. It doesn't move anywhere. Random survivor in range, so everyone. Uh, yeah, that's not bad. It's two attacks, one, two damage each. So, two goes for Jimmy. That is bad, however. No. No, no, they both gotta spend the survival to get out of the way. Eh. All right. So, two attacks. Three. Yeah, two. Two. One base. Uh, they both hit, I think. He has one. Two, three evasion. So yeah, that, those both hit. So to the waist and the chest, which he hasn't taken damage in any of those, so. He just gets knocked down. Um, he will spend his father to encourage. And then the monster's gonna run this way. And they both have to dash out of the way. Does she spend her survival? No, she doesn't. Okay. I'll uh, go here, you go. Right. So she he goes there. Okay. Try to get rid of the mood. Don't get rid of it. Uh, can I do anything else then? No. I can technically dash up. Uh, however, actually, what is the next one? Lone Rampage, eh? Oh, no. She's going to search. Mm. Yeah, because he can't spend it. So she's going to search and attack. Uh, does she spend the survival? Nope. Oh, she does. That's okay. She has a strength token. Okay, okay. Got to get rid of this lone rampage. That's two hits. All right. Giant teeth. Do that. Uh, yep. So giant teeth, that is not a wound. Rump, that is a crit. So get a resource, which is a pelt. And we get rid of Lone Rampage. Great. Uh, what's the next one? Bite, closest survivor field of view, which be her. Uh, it's three damage, uh, and she missing spots hmm. hmm I could dash up and attack but that's a lot of attacks hmm yes so dash and attack with her five attacks and again, we get two legendary lungs. I only get three. Okay. Three. Ah, there's a trap again. Jeez. 
She has to dash now, otherwise she takes a trauma. So she takes some brain damage, which is okay. And gets knocked back five, and knocked down. Uh, she takes four, so she's at nine. Uh, well, that happened. So his turn. Oh, does she get a survival back? Yes, yeah, she does. So she has one survival. Okay. His turn bites closest and feel the oh, That's him now. And he also can't do anything. He might die here. Yeah, that's two hits to the head and uh, waist. Uh, he's good on the head. The waist, he takes a severe. So that's three damage. He has three armor there with the skull helmet. All right, what's he taking to the waist? That's a five. Uh, that's not super awful. Five. Warped pelvis. Suffer minus one permanent luck. Oh, no. Where he runs forward. Oh no, actually, it's random. So evens odds, right? Uh, random survivor, yep. So evens odds, evens. That's an even, so it goes this way. Which she can. If she gets up, what she will. So she'll spend her survival. He'll spend so we get her up. And we'll go here. Yeah? No. Here. We go. We'll go there. All right. This trap here, yo. So he, don't want to risk him. She's too far away. She has one survival though, but we need to save it. She has no survival, although she has this bone dagger. On a lantern 10, she gets survival back and she won't use her five attacks. <laughs> She'll only have four. No, 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 no. It's only plus one speed with guitars. She'll have three. No, or daggers. Never mind. <laughs> yeah. So first, let's look. Tongue, horns, or shank, okay. Uh, okay. So, our four attacks with a dagger, and tens. Ah, uh, that's two tens, that's two survival. But that is also, six, yes. She has that accuracy, so that's three hits, so that's three more attacks. Unfortunately, 
but she hits two for five hits. But she gets two survival back. Good old dagger. Okay. Um, that's fine. We'll do that first. Uh, let's see here. No one's in the blind spot, so that's fine to do. Failure. Knock back five. Eh. So this. Do it like that. Okay, so giant tongue. That's a crit. You get a resource. Shank. That is, she has plus two luck, which makes that a crit. The throat. That's a five. Let's see here. One, two, three. Uh, that set is plus two strength, two, let's see here. Plus two to strength to attack with daggers or katars. So that is a wound. Shoulder. That's a crit. <laughs> so, get a large flat tooth. The horns. That's a failure. All right. If the attacker is adjacent to the monster, the weapon is stuck, comes loose, but you stumble back, knock back five. That's fine. Okay. Okay. Just rocked it. Uh, let's see. Can't get in range. Uh, actually, I can look what the next one is. Bite. Uh, closest survivor, eh? Go after her. She hasn't taken any damage yet. And she has survived. She can take that. Are we the closest? Closest. So we are... Seven... Six. Yep. So uh, actually, move this way. Do like that. That's better. All right, it's turn. Bite. So it goes up here. Two attacks hitting on. Where are you at? You have one, two. Two evasions, so four up. So two hits, two of these. Head and uh, waist. Uh, you don't have seizures, you know. So she can take those fine. She has three armor, both those locations. Okay. Ah, uh, but it is two bleed tokens. Then it will, that's actually random. That could be bad. I didn't think about that. That's too late. So who's it going after? Four, it's going after her. So she will dash. Go over there. Okay, okay. All right. They're gonna look. So no trap. This is first strike. If you're insane, cancel. Eh. So that's probably gonna hit away. Uh, oh no, consume the weapon. Ah, oh, that's a giant mouth. That's not good. So you want to get rid of that with a ranged attack. Oh, 
What's this next one? Great kick. Oh, that's the strike up, so I'll get knocked down. So I don't want to do anything here. Okay, just want to get in position. No one's next or behind. It'll just, well, I will just get knocked down. Okay. Yes. That's what we're doing. So it's turn, actually. Does it draw? Yes, it does. Great kick. It's destroyed hook. It gets knocked down. So then we can go all in. Um, the first one we need to do a range attack, so we'll do the bow. Three plus. Hit one hit. That's fine. Giant mouth. That is a wound. Okay, uh, what's this one? Great kick is next. Great. And then the next one is a first strike if you're insane. She's not insane. Four, five. Go there. No. You go there. You go there. You attack. You hit twice. This is not a reaction, so it's not canceled. I'm insane, so it's to cancel all hits. We'll take that. Uh, move here and attack. Although this is probably a really bad idea, unless I use fist and tooth. So two hits to the palette and the muzzle. All right, muzzle first. That's a two, that's fails. Palette. That's a four. Ah, let's see here. I think that still fails. Yeah. That's fine. I just didn't want to do 10 hits on him and trigger the trap. All right. So actually, it's its turn. It stands up. It doesn't draw, though, unfortunately. So it moves forward, then it does this. It's actually gonna move before that when it moves forward, so it just runs forward. Because I don't want it to run away from me again. I think the best of options is to wait until it draws its card again, because right now it's just gonna move forward. So look at the top three. There's the trap, of course. So we'll put that on the bottom. All right, it's gonna go on its turn. It got the draws, which is the great kick, which means he falls down. Okay. So I can only hit twice. But if I hit twice, I'll kill it. See? So we're gonna do the spear. Only one hit. Uh, the back. That is a wound. Yeah, it's definitely a wound. So great kick goes away. Uh, who next? Ah! I'm going to use the bow. Reduce its speed by one, but its accuracy adds two. Doesn't matter, it's a nine. Giant teeth. Is, what is that, a five? That is a five. He is three. That is a wound. So he is dead. Jesus. That guy took forever. So level two antelope gives me a ton of resources. Let's see here. I get six basic and six or seven antelope. So we got all but two out of his deck from that fight. Six. 
All right, so we have these. We got love juice, monster hide, steak, hide, hide, that's hide, pelt, a tooth, a hide, a shank bone, a lantern, some muscly gums, a spiral horn, another pelt, a tooth, a pelt, a pelt, a heart, a brain, a bladder, a steak, our campus, and a shank bone. That's a ton of resources. Okay. What is next year? A lot of stuff. Let me get it through really quick. Seven. Page one fifty one. Ah, it's the Phoenix feather. That's why. We do this seven phase the pendant. So first off, do a settlement event. What do we get when we return? Okay, so we can't do science and education endeavors. And oh, I need like heavier for her, so she can't depart next turn. That sucks. All right, it's not the worst, but it's still not great. Let's leave that out. So she cannot depart. H2 for him. That is an 11. I think that's just a fighting art, maybe. H2, 11. Whoa, oh, one permanent strength. Great. Alright. And this is where we get the matchmaker. Say rolls a one. Or we could re-roll, because we got re-rolls in the settlement. So, Phoenix Feather. And we have a third sheet. So just one card there. Billy has no much courage. Oh, no, no courage. 
Okay. So you'll have to be Tyrone to get matchmaker. All right, Phoenix Feather. A feather falls from the sky. Uh, sky bubble and murmur. Sky's bubble and murmur as a dark presence tears through the atmosphere like a negative lightning bolt, sucking the air and energy from all who gaze upon it. Light rain begins. Survivors turn their eyes up and see a huge iridescent feather slowly floating towards the ground. Lantern lights reflect strange rainbows of twisting of the twist off the twisted feather. A primal fear takes root in the settlement. May now hunt for the phoenix and nominate one survivor to break the silence. So Tyrone, get your courage. A seven. The survivor exclaims that the falling feather is the most beautiful and dangerous thing they have ever laid eyes upon. Each color runs perfectly into another, and gazing upon it imparts a strange sense of longing. They are convinced that there has never been something so perfect in the world. So I agreeably hides the feather from the others. They gain the craze fighting art and hoarder disorder, and additional courage. And we all get plus two insanity. That's okay. But the main thing is, he now gets bold. Oh. Which in the settlement phase, he gets matchmaker. Wait. No, he already had courage. Damn. Uh, who didn't have courage? Everyone here. Hmm. So not him. Uh I guess Felicia. She has the most courage right now. Richard at one. So he's crazed. And horror. Okay. Don't have a matchmaker yet. Ah. Okay. Then we get Endeavor. So we got everything we needed and more. Let's see, we get one of those. Uh, I don't think we need brain for anything and we don't need a bladder for anything. So that's innovate. Come on. Where, 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 where do I need? Uh, ammonia. That's what I need. Because you can make a leather set right now. Missed it like five times this settlement. So we get ammonia. Family, that would be good. Scrap smelting and seven on the watch. Taking ammonia. One hundred percent. Add that. ammonia so we can make leather which we also need to make uh, the weapon crafter so let's see here how much leather do we need to make a set Uh, although it is a 
science endeavor, unfortunately. So we need to get rid of heat wave effect. So we're going to find fluid. That's a seven. Ah, so you depart with heavy gear normally. Just uh, come on. Six. No. One more. Ten. Okay. Now we have no endeavors, which could be bad. However, if we try to kill someone with intimacy, we can get an endeavor back. Come on, low rolls. <laughs> so using the love juice. That's a one. That's two people dead. That's two more endeavors. So two people with the, uh, let's see, monster panic and... Uh, the weak spot chest, they are dead. And from their sacrifice, we get two endeavors, which allows us to create leather armor. All right. So we need five leather. One, two, three, four, Five. So that's five leather. Um, can make a shield too. Six leather. Okay. So that's all the leather we need. Now one scrap. One hide. One bone, and another hide, which we have plenty of in the storage. Let's see, we have lion tail. There we go. That is everything for a full leather set. Then, for the shield, we need a bone and a hide. Which will do a shank bone, and another hide from the storage. Uh, let's do the curious hand. Oh, we got three regular hide. There we go. Two hide in there. Okay. So that's a full leather set and the shield. Bam. Okay, now we got a bunch of stuff. Uh, we need to get a weapon crafter. Which means we need three bone and a hide. Which we got plenty of hide in there. We need one. Uh, do the cat bones and the lion claw because we don't really need them. That's the three bone, and we have a regular hide here. And so in the storage, so we have one left there. And that gets the weapon crafter. And let's see, we don't have enough bones for scrap smelting innovation, but that's fine. And the stone circle. Three organs and a hide. Can we make that? Just cuz. Eventually want um, the, uh, what you call it? So we got two steaks and uh, we have sinew. That'll work. And just the regular hide that's in there now.
So you have to follow the muscle. I still have a curious hand. So that means we got these. And we have both the stone circle and the weapon cracker. Let's see. So, ooh, we can make the Lance of Lemuria soon. If I get a bunch more organs, let me look at Because I got the uh, spiral horn. No, I need legendary horns. Never mind. Uh, can't make anything good. Uh, what I'd want is the blue charm, but not yet because we don't have anyone with the proper affinities. So we can just keep these in the settlement. Uh, replace the Arcanthus that we lost and replace the Monster Grease that we lost. that last courage from the weapon crafter have her go out with the scrap scavenge with our last endeavor go Felicia that's a four huh spend one survival or die that's fine she spends a survival oh well Okay, we'll try again, Felicia. Or use her reroll because she's useless. Get a four again, so spend a survival. Okay, it was worth a try. Which means we get these added to the storage. So let's see here. Second heart. Uh, another Arcanthus. Spiral Horn and Shanking. Green. Good. And then that is it. That is good. So he has plus two evasion. Yes. And he can die at the end of the exact move one square. That's a good set for him. And he has like five armor everywhere. So he's a tanky boy now. Okay, then. I uh, get the skull helm. And. Monster Grace, I guess. Ah, but the circlet. Who's going to get the circlet? Mmm. We'll give it to her. I think I might put a lion guitar away because all those attacks aren't really super great. 
we'll just give her some drive our campus. Yeah. Okay. And that is everything. Put that in our storage. And then we get two founder stones. Alright, I think next time uh, we don't really need to fight an antelope again. We could fight the flower knight next. Yeah, and get that awesome bow. But, I think that'll be it for tonight. All right. Pick up uh, next Sunday, same time, 4 o'clock. And actually, for next Sunday, we'll start with the Giga Lion. I should have him by Wednesday. And I'll run him real quick and unlock him for the settlement. Thank you for watching. Have a nice night.